Good afternoon. Welcome to the third round of the, uh, the third round of on uh, European uh, Chess Club Cup, which is played in, uh, which is playing in uh, Skopje in Macedonia. Uh, today again uh, with you, uh, I'm here. My name is Borki Predojevic, and my colleague here is Sandra Djokic. Good afternoon. So, okay, today we will be with you, and we will analyze analyze some games. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, interesting. Yeah, first of all, we will see some standings after second round. We can see that on first place it's the Azerbaijan team Odlar Yurdu. Then on second place is uh, Alkaloid from Macedonia. Then third place uh, Legacy Square Sokar, Medni Osadnik, Universitet Ivelo Rečensk, Siberia, Rishon Lezion, uh, Novibor, and uh, two Italian teams. Then we have and Hamburger Schach. Uh, Club, uh, all of these teams, uh, they have uh, uh, their maximum number of uh, points, of match points. Uh, we can see on the first board today we have big uh, uh, duel uh, between Sokar and University Belorechensk. On the first board, Topalo against Gelfand, then Giri against Malachov, Karwana against Jobava, Adams against Trublevski, Rajabov against uh, Alexeyev, and on the last board, Mamejarov against Konstantin Landa. Uh, on second board, uh, Siberia is playing against Legacy Square, so we have one uh, Russian derby. Uh, on first board, Kramnik uh, against Nepomniachi. Kramnik has five pieces, and this is his first game here on this uh, tournament. Then Aronian against Inar Kiev, Grishuk against Nair, Litschau du uh, against Dubov, Wang Yuzi against Sev, and Korobov against uh, Grachev. On the, um, on the third board, we have the Odlar Yurdu, which is currently the first uh, uh, ranked uh, team against uh, Alkaloid. And here we have, uh, we have a match where Sotovsky is playing against Ivacuk, uh, Durabaili against uh, Tomaszewski, Bayarani against Jakovenko, Rasulov against Andrejkin, Abasov against Krivoručko, and Gusenov against Yuyangi. On the fourth board, uh, two Italian teams they are meeting each other, so of course that uh, Objetivo Risarkimento uh, from Padova is the favorite in this match. So here we can see that Leku is playing against Schwirtz, then Karyakin against Brunello, Nakamura against Ortega, Bakrot, uh, Bakro against uh, De Amore, uh, Godena against uh, Caprio, and uh, Dvirni against uh, Frigeri. Okay, and now we can uh, see standings after round two. So at first place we have a uh, Gambit Aseko from Macedonia. So and uh, on second place is Non and on third place is Ugra from Russia. But um, all of uh, these three teams uh, has uh, maximum maximum points two yes. And uh, on fourth place we have uh, Legacy Square. Fifth uh, place, Borki, can you help me? ASD Circolo Skaki. Robert yeah. Fischer <laughs> from Italy, and uh, then we have Bossa Nova, SPB from Russia, Oslo, OSS, Oslo Shak Sales Cup, uh, Herzlia <laughs> Chess Club from Israel, Rishon Lezion from Israel, and uh, on the last place is Midland Monarchs from England. Okay, and uh, board pairings. Uh, so we can see that today we have a um, very interesting match again, like yesterday. Uh, at first board, Stefanova against uh, Jagnidze Nana. Second board, Goryachkina against Kotenashvili. Third, Sheng Yang against uh, Yavakashvili. And on fourth board, we, kev, we have uh, Sadukasova against uh, Batashvili. So we hope uh, we will see some interesting games. And. Um, uh, in this match, Legacy Square uh, against Ugra. On first uh, table, we have Gunina against Ushenina. Uh, second, uh, Kosteniuk Alexandra against Pogonina. Then Giria against Makrichtian. And on fourth floor or table, Kaštinskaya against uh, Guseva Marina. Yeah, uh, now after we saw the results and current sendings, uh, also some pairings. It's uh, time to start to see some of the games on the uh, in, a, in third round. Uh, first game which we will see is, of course, the first game on the first board. I mean, uh, uh, Topalov against Gelfand. 
so here is the position after 15th move. Uh, we will go a little bit uh, uh, yeah, from the beginning to see what was the, uh, the main variation, what Gelfand chose today and so on. Uh, after e4, uh, Gelfand played c5 and of course we, we can always expect from uh, Topalo some main lines and uh, of course here we can see that after knight f3, knight c6, uh, Gelfand uh, uh, chose uh, the Sashniko variation just uh, uh, I think in the first round we were speaking uh, that uh, uh, this line is not so uh, popular anymore on the highest level, but it seems that uh, from time to time also Gelfand uh, plays it. Uh, here we can see on uh, on camera also that uh, Husman is uh, watching the exactly the game Topal of Gelfand, and uh, now uh, we'll see we'll say something more about uh, the line which uh, Veselin chose. So knight db5 main move this six bishop g5. I think that uh, in uh, all the books, uh, even for the beginners in uh, uh, openings, you can find this uh, position and uh, as, as the main line, of course, a6. And here, uh, Topalov chose to play knight a3 move. Um, uh, some of the players, they prefer actually here to take bishop f6. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, after gf6 to play knight a3. And then after b5, knight d5. Of course, this line can come also after knight a3, b5, simply to play bishop f6 move, gf6, mm -hmm. and again knight d5. Uh, and here, f5 or bishop g7 and so on are the main lines. Knight d5 is more positional move because uh, white is here in a previous line. White will let uh, black one chance to play, for example, f5, and then mm -hmm. he has this uh, strong pound center always, mm -hmm. with the, which is a uh, also, with, uh, if we com uh, if we also there put some two bishops, mm -hmm. which uh, bishop uh, which uh, black has, then he has always uh, good dynamic chances, and always there this position is finished with some tactical blows from mm -hmm. one or the another side. Uh, after b5, knight d5, bishop e7, nothing new. I mean, many games were played uh, like this: bishop f6, bishop f6, c3, and uh, here is critical moment because. Uh, First, uh, and uh, the, the main move is, of course, to play castle. <coughs> and after knight c2, bishop g5, this is uh, uh, one of the lines. And then after a4, ba4, rook a4, a5, now white has a, uh, I can choose between bishop uh, going c4. to c4 or bishop going to b5, which is an older line and so on. But uh, f, uh, we can say that Gelfand was the first one who chose the one uh, at least not main line, we can say like sideline rook b8. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the players, I mean, from the uh, uh, on highest level who was playing rook b8 regularly in his youth is actually Pavel, Pavel Elyanov. Mm -hmm. It's interesting actually that he's not playing on this uh, tournament for any of uh, teams. Uh, now, after c3, rook b8, g3 was played by Topalo. Quite normal move. Mm -hmm. Uh, another option would uh, be to play knight c2 move here, but uh, it seems that Topalo wanted to stop this uh, idea of connected with possible move knight e7 mm -hmm. at some point. So g3, castle, and h4. Uh, this move is uh, also very logical. Mm -hmm. What uh, white is stopping actually is exactly bishop this maneuver with bishop g5. For example, after bishop g2, black would play now bishop g5. And his position, I mean, after h4, he would have good square bishop for bishop, h6. bishop f6. And now the thing is that uh, in many in many lines, white is actually pushing g4, yes. trying to catch the bishop. But okay. then bishop, bishop is coming to f4. And after this position, for nice example, knight e4, for e4, e4, this would be the problem, exactly. E5, yes. Would be the problem for white because of e5 square, as you said. So h4 was played, and bishop e6, knight c2, bishop d5. Queen d5. And now uh, Gelfand is on the move, which is good to say actually that uh, just uh, uh, we know that Gelfand and uh, Topalov they played many games. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting when uh, Topalov was uh, white that they actually played just one game on the previous European Club Cups. And this was in Bogoino uh, in 1999 mm -hmm. in a final match. And uh, then Topalov won the game. So this is uh, interesting. And his team won the title of uh, European Club. Uh, Cup, so I mean they became European champions. Uh, 
generally, Tupolo is a, a very unpleasant opponent uh, for uh, Gelfand when he's white. So when he when he has white pieces, and uh, the last game which they were playing on classical tempo is also finished in a, a, as a win of Topolo and uh, Topolo won this game in uh, Linares in mm -hmm. 2010. So it seems that they did not play for five years. I mean, a classical game, which is uh, interesting since both of them are mm -hmm. playing always super tournaments and. Uh, uh, they're playing first, uh, their, their first board uh, in their national teams, so very interesting fact for our uh, spectators. And for so me, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see if, uh, yeah. So, in meantime, there was play, uh, they played two moves, so Queen D3 happened and D5, of course. This is something what uh, we can uh, expect uh, from, uh, from Gelfand, this is typical Sicilian Do break. Do you think yeah. that both of these Sides, you know, Topalov and Gelfand prepared this line, white for him, uh, or like for. It seems that they, they prepared this line since uh, we, uh, Gelfand was uh, spending some time. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, on the uh, 12th move, he was thinking after G3 because probably this was a surprise for him since, uh, right. as I told, uh, as I was uh, saying before, Knight C2 is the main line. Mm -hmm. So after G3, I mean, he probably spend some time to remember the line and now after Queen D3, G D5 final position is um, actually looking, uh, uh, it's around equal, mm -hmm. but uh, it's obviously that uh, some ED5 for example will happen, Queen D5 I guess that uh, this will be the idea and now what Topalo will try to do here is basically to play on the his uh, better bishop mm -hmm. at this moment because pawn on E5, in this case if black uh, spawn would be on e6, of course, that bishop from f6 would be working. And now, I think that uh, generally, uh, if Gelfand solves the problems with his bishop mm -hmm. in this position, then uh, he can uh, uh, be very close to draw yes, and just having the position. Maybe some something like e4 and then b4 and... Uh, yeah, yeah, to open the bishop, yeah, just, uh, just like that. So this will be uh, maybe even... Uh, after bishop g2, for example, mm -hmm. he will try to push e4, yes. exactly as you said, and waiting for b4. Of course, now it's maybe he has to count about moves mm -hmm. like rookie, uh, ab mm -hmm. about moves like long castle, because now knight on d5, of course, and pawn on mm -hmm. e4, they are hanging, and next move will be bishop e4. Mm -hmm. So maybe immediately it's not working, mm -hmm. but for sure okay. this is one of the possible ideas. As well, as you said, maybe knight is going to b6, for example, in this position, and uh, what black can do is actually pushing uh, a5 and b4, and again, your idea to push e4. Mm -hmm. Simply if white <coughs> is going on long <coughs> castle, this can be the problem. So let's see if uh, maybe in meantime they played some moves, but uh, not Maybe. Topolo is on the move, he's mm -hmm. thinking. So I think that uh, now it's time that uh, we switch to another game and actually we can immediately see the, uh, the second uh, uh, board in this match. Uh, second board is this match is, uh, in this match is actually game Malachov Giri. <coughs> so here we can see the position. Uh, uh, it's ob obviously that uh, uh, Malachov chose one peaceful mm -hmm. one line in uh, Grimfeld defense. Since uh, Giri, after this loss yesterday, I mean, he probably wanted to go in uh, mm -hmm. for some fight. Uh, this is kind like uh, after uh, the, the game started as the English opening. So C4, C5, Knight F3, Knight F6, Knight C3, D5, C, D, Knight D5. But okay, in this position, we can say that after E3, Knight mm -hmm. C3, B, C3, G6, actually, uh, we get this kind of uh, uh, Grimfeld structure mm -hmm. because pawn is on c5 and uh, late, sooner or later white will push uh, uh, d4. Bishop b5 is here main line. This is like one of the ideas why, uh, why uh, white is not pushing d4 so fast mm -hmm. because it's in some cases he can uh, choose, uh, uh, some he can play some moves like uh, let's say bishop a3 or something like this, try mm -hmm. to press uh, the pawn on c5, for example, knight d7 can be met with bishop a3. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that this line was recently played actually in a game between uh, in, a, in in Baku, and it was uh, uh, one of the, the playoff games between um, Fresine and uh, Nepomniachtchi. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, when we are speaking about this match, it's very interesting since. Uh, both of them are very good friends of Magnus, so it would be interesting to ask him <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> for whom of them he was uh, cheering <laughs> at that moment. So, uh, Giri, 
chose the bishop d7, very logical move, and now bishop e2. And the main idea of giving bishop b5 check, you're only going on e2, is that bishop on d7 is uh, sometimes not place. well placed, and also mm -hmm. some tempo with rook b1 mm -hmm. since the bishop on a, uh, since the pawn on a b7, b7 will be hanging. So, mm -hmm. like possible idea. Uh, Giri played bishop g7, castle, castle, all these moves are normal, d4, and now queen a5. Again, one typical move for Greenfield defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I don't know, but uh, in my opinion, uh, black should be always uh, reaching equality in this kind of mm -hmm. setup when, uh, setups when white has this pawn c3, c d4, e3. Okay. So I think that uh, generally this uh, last position also is uh, around equality, but um, Malacho is not uh, well known as the player who is uh, really well prepared. Uh -huh. He's usually so playing on uh, other better things. Yeah. <laughs> just in middle game or yeah, uh, in middle games, in just in practical mm -hmm. play, he's very just unpleasant uh, yeah. player. I was playing with him a couple of games, so mm -hmm. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what we can say is that uh, for for this game, it's interesting because this is just the second game between mm -hmm. these two players, since they played uh, just once before, and it was on the last European Club Cup mm -hmm. in sixth round. Giri was white and actually he made a very important win at uh -huh. that point, he won against Malacho. So we'll see if uh, Giri will recover today and win the game against Malacho or Malacho will uh, uh, get revenge. <laughs> yes, yes. Or, uh, okay. Let's, let's see if they played some move in the beginning, they did not uh, play anything. So position after 12th move, rook d8 is uh, basically on the board. Uh, now we can switch to the third. Uh, board in the in this match. It's uh, actually very interesting uh, game uh, since uh, 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 our yesterday's guest, uh, Fabiano Caruana, he's uh, uh, playing with white pieces against uh, Yobo Abadu. <laughs> so, uh, this is going to be a very interesting game. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, the last game which uh, Yobo played against uh, Fabiano, it was recently, uh, it was uh, I think in the uh, last uh, tournament uh, on Grand Prix, mm -hmm. and uh, after e6 d4, uh, c e4 c6 d4 d5, uh, in Karokan he chose the after e5 the line with bishop f5, mm -hmm. and uh, for uh, our spectators it's interesting to say the line which he had played because after knight f3 e6 bishop e2 he was playing very fast move mm -hmm. f6, and uh, this is not uh, not really. Mm -hmm. Uh, naive line, of course. I mean, Bader always has uh, interesting ideas, uh, but uh, always have interesting ideas. But uh, uh, we will see uh, what happens in the game uh, today. Bader chose the move c5, which is uh, mo which is considered to be a little bit more dynamic than main move bishop f5. And uh, now, for me, it's a little bit surprised that uh, Fabiano played knight f3 since. Uh, uh, in the last expected. couple of months, yeah, mm -hmm. DC5 is the main move mm -hmm. basically here. Okay, Knight F3 is also one of the possible moves and uh, it was uh, quite popular a few years ago, but uh, mm -hmm. in recent games, uh, White started again to play this DC5 move and now we will, uh, after Knight C6, uh, White has the numerous uh, options. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the moves is Bishop B5, second is Knight F3, and uh, so on. Even uh, this move f4 is uh, is one of the possibilities mm -hmm. which was played a couple of times by uh, Igor Gleck. Mm -hmm. uh, after knight f3, cd4, knight d4, e6. This is all uh, the theory. And now c4, c4. bishop b4 is a, a rare move, I think, mm -hmm. here because uh, usually what they're playing is uh, knight c6, and now the main line goes knight c6, b6, bishop d3. And uh, here, Black is now choosing between, uh, he's usually playing bishop c5, actually, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, this is one of the main position, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, here there is cd5 to play, and so on. But uh, okay. uh, let's see, Yobava chose the uh, <laughs> bishop b4 Something check. Different. I think it's interesting mm -hmm. move, actually. Uh, simply he wants to, he's developing. Uh, bishop from f8, and also he is uh, getting the time because bishop b4 is a check. Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously that bishop d2 looks uh, normal. Bishop d2, queen d2, knight e7, and uh, actually now uh, black gets rid of uh, one piece. So 
it, it seems that after knight c3, knight c6, what uh, Fabiano played c d e d and f4, uh, short castle looks like critical line. I mean, now if we can see that white still did not castle, so I guess that after long castle position is still a. Uh, it looks really double-edged, mm -hmm. and it looks in a uh, Jobova style. Yes. Uh, so, okay, the, on the other side, Bader doesn't have really good results against uh, Caruana. Caruana, yeah. He lost three games and four draws, and he never won. So, <laughs> we'll see for today what, uh, what will happen. It's, uh, it will be interesting. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, maybe to see the, f uh, the old uh, the old three other boards here in this match. And uh, the on fourth board, we can see the game. Uh, Rublevsky is playing against uh, Adams, uh, uh, so just a second to find, to, yeah, yeah, to find the game. And uh, now, uh, here it's interesting first of all to say that uh, Rublevsky somehow did not play many tournaments in the last couple mm -hmm. of years and it seems that he's coming back to chess and so on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Rublevsky is uh, usually E4 player, so he started the game with e4. Adams is almost always answering with e5. I cannot remember the last game when Adams did not play e5 against somebody, uh, at least uh, 700 player. Uh, bishop c4, knight f6, d3. Uh, uh, beginning is very interesting, actually, because um, it seems that uh, Rublevsky was not uh, interested to play some theoretical mm -hmm. Uh, line today. Okay. I mean, this is considered to be not so dangerous line. Although, from this uh, on, on the highest level, Rublevsky is uh, really often plays mm -hmm. this line. Mm -hmm. The main idea of uh, early bishop c4 and d3 is basically to wait with knight on f3. Mm -hmm. So maybe white will play knight f3, maybe not. Uh, after bishop c4, uh, after d3, the main move is actually c6. Knight c6 is also possible to play. But uh, c6 uh, actually has the idea to use the fact, since as we know, after e4, e5, knight f3 is basically attacking mm -hmm. the pawn on e5. <coughs> and it's forcing black to mm -hmm. decide whether he will defend it with knight c6. Yes. And usually we know that knight c6 is the main line and so on. But here, black is using fact 6. The Why did not play? Knight is not on c6. So yeah, yeah, so c6 and pushing <coughs> d5. And uh, now one of the possible lines is, uh, mm -hmm. for example, knight f3, d5, bishop b3. And uh, now bishop b4 is one of the lines, for example. Uh, a5 is one of the possible moves. And uh, another move is bishop d6. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that bishop b4 was recently played uh, by uh, Ding Liren in mm -hmm. uh, Baku. Uh, actually, he was playing match against his uh, younger colleague Wei, Wei Ji, mm -hmm. and uh, that game was finished as draw. Uh, I was also playing a couple of games with white pieces in the same line, so I'm not really the big fan mm -hmm. of it, but it's possible to play. I mean, okay. you avoid a little bit theory Normal and position, try to play. <coughs> yeah, yeah, not on some advantage mm -hmm. in the opening, but uh, simply... Uh, Just playing chess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, position remains complicated. Mm -hmm. All the pieces are mm -hmm. on the board. And uh, it gives some chances if you are a better mm -hmm. player, if you are feeling that they better to mm -hmm. use it and play it. I mean, uh, uh, Miki chose the knight c6 move. So, and uh, after knight c6, now, of course, Rublevsky never plays knight f3, actually. Mm -hmm. So knight c3 was something he could expect. Knight a5, queen f3, and c6. Uh, instead of uh, c6 move, of course, uh, black can take immediately the Knight c4 here. Mm -hmm. And after d4 now, he can play either the uh, move d6, mm -hmm. simply preparing bishop e7 and castle. Mm -hmm. Either he can simply play the move bishop c5. Okay. This is another option. And uh, it's interesting that uh, uh, against both of these moves, Rublevsky had at least a couple of games mm -hmm. in normal tempo and also you know, in uh, classical chess, and also he played a couple of games in rapid mm -hmm. and blitz chess. So. Today, mm, Adams chose c6, mm -hmm. and uh, the main idea is actually to wait with uh, taking on c4. And as we can see, a couple of moves later, what happened, knight g2, bishop e7, short yes. castle, castle, h3, d5, mm -hmm. e, d, b5. Mm -hmm. So we can see that uh, the idea from Adams was not to take the pawn. Mm -hmm. But now, after b5, bishop b3, I guess now that uh, 
uh, Adams is thinking. We'll see, did, did he play some move? Here, Black Hand has, uh, Black has uh, I guess, two choices. One of the Which possible, uh -huh. yeah, one of the possible choices is simply had to push before, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is uh, the main idea is, I guess, that after knight d4, mm -hmm. okay, knight d5 is a really possible move because knight is on, uh, knight is on uh, e2. Mm -hmm. And this knight is not so well placed while now, mm -hmm. still f5 is a serious threat Threats, and, uh, uh -huh. yeah, and so on. I think that after b4 in this position, uh, if I would be white, I would play d6 move. Uh, the idea is actually to, uh, first of all, uh, fix the structure. Mm -hmm. Because after d6, some of the pawns like b4 and c6, mm -hmm. they can be in some long-term weak. Of mm -hmm. course, after bishop d6, the idea is to get the tempo with knight mm -hmm. d4. So, okay, obviously that after knight d4 now, it's question whether white should take d4 Probably or simply yeah. to play queen e4. I don't know. Maybe d4 is also possible mm -hmm. since uh, the idea with c5 and c4. Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, there was played one uh, yeah, yes. after this. Yeah, yeah, I made the mistake. Sorry. So d6, bishop d6, knight e4, knight e4, d4. This uh, c4, c5 is not. Uh, okay, uh, c5, c4 is not. Uh, bishop d5 is coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. So if uh, this is not uh, dangerous, then uh, I think that uh, white can hope for mm -hmm. even some advantage, maybe with knight g3. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that after b4, this is the idea. Now let's see that, uh, yeah, Adams played b4. Yeah, this, uh, this will be interesting. Now we because will see uh, here I was expecting maybe from him uh, also this idea, mm -hmm. to take on b3, a b3, and simply cd5, sacrificing the pawn on b5. And now, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously that uh, white uh, has to take this pawn, okay. and for example, the Anna, the next move can be bishop b7, let's say. And yeah. here, white has this uh, one pawn, but somehow black has strong center. Mm -hmm. e5 and d5 pawns are yes. quite strong, and two bishops. For me, it looks like this in compensation. Like but, uh, yes, compensation. Yes. Okay. We'll see <coughs> what uh, what uh, what uh, Sergey will play after b4. Uh, in the meantime, we can go to the next game in mm -hmm. this match. Uh, this is the game uh, between Teymur Rajabov and uh, Alexeyev. So let's see this game. Of course, uh, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, first of all, uh, from the beginning they play the, the variation which we know as Berlin yes. Wall. And one of the main experts and the uh, first players, uh, first top players who started to play it is also here. Mm -hmm. It's Vladimir Kramnik. Uh, this variation became popular when uh, Vladimir actually held uh, Gary Kasparov in a match and he mm -hmm. won the match. So this is uh, the, the critical moment when this line started to be the top line and uh, now for more than 10 years it's uh, one of the main problems for, black to, uh, for white to get advantage in Ray Lopez. Mm -hmm. So bishop b5, knight f6, castle. Previously Rajabo was usually playing d3 move. Mm -hmm. So we can say that castle and basically choosing after knight e4, d4 move and going into the main line. Uh, in uh, previous rounds, in first and second round, we were exactly speaking about mm -hmm. uh, uh, this position. And today we have the main line knight d6, bishop c6, d6, d5, knight e5, queen d8, king d8. We have everything on the board and now h3 is the move. Uh, after h3, black has to decide where he will go with the king. Uh, I would like also to just give one uh, uh, small notification here that uh, in some of the games they are also giving check rook mm -hmm. d1. Uh, rook d1 has the idea to force black to go with the king on e8. Mm -hmm. Because obviously that now this bishop d7 looks very dangerous since also knight g5 is making the big problems for black. I mean, you cannot defend the two, mm -hmm. two weaknesses here and here. Yeah. So this is the idea why then black would uh, have to play king e8. Of course, the main uh, problem for white is that usually he would like to put rook from a1 to d1. Mm -hmm. And now the wrong rook is on d1, so it, he will need to, to spend to some time to activate uh -huh. the rook from a1. Uh, however, uh, Tamer decided to play h3, mm -hmm. king e8. So we can see that Alexei went to the 
uh, e8 square with the king and knight c3 knight e7 well i have to play the, i have to say that uh, a few times i was playing uh, this variation and exactly i was playing king e8 and knight e7 knight line seven, I mean okay. here <laughs> so <laughs> uh, i think that uh, this was actually my favorite line with the when i'm playing with black pieces so after knight e4 knight g6 rook e1 okay h6 is normal and uh, yeah, this is uh, like king h2 is a typical move. Now, what we can also say after knight c3, what is the point of uh, knight e7 mm -hmm. move? Because, you know, usually in the opening, you are not playing uh, so many times with, with the same, one, yeah, with with the one same pieces. pieces. Yeah, yeah. So the uh, point after knight e7 is actually to get the square f5 for, for the bishop. Yeah, this is the point at some, at some stage. And also, knight on f5 has sometimes problems because g4 mm -hmm. will be with tempo. While now after knight e7 you are actually stopping this mm -hmm. move g4. does not have any sense when you are not getting some tempo. Mm -hmm. And now knight is also going to g6 which is considered the best square for, for this knight in this, in this variation. So mm -hmm. when the king is on e8 of course. Mm -hmm. And now after knight e4, knight g6, rook e1, h6, king h2 uh, is the start of the typical plan uh, for white because uh, in uh, this position, it's very tough to push the pawns on the okay. king side. And obviously, we can see that uh, on the king side, white has one extra pawn mm -hmm. on the E line because double pawns are on here C yeah, on C file. And uh, king h2 is actually in the future preparing mm -hmm. g3, not just g3. Here, it can be possible idea to play move h4 at some point also. Mm -hmm. So this can be possible idea in king g3 after bishop g4, for example. Mm -hmm. So this is all uh, possible to play, and I think it's a normal move. So uh, maybe after rook e1 also, black could play some move like bishop e7, mm -hmm. for example. I don't think that this is a bad option for black, but OK. Uh, I guess that uh, Evgeny knows what he's doing, and uh, he had a couple of games with the uh, black pieces. He was already mm -hmm. playing uh, Berlin Wall, I mean, Berlin defense. and. Uh, also, uh, he was playing some games he's, uh, with white pieces mm -hmm. because he's e4 player. So uh, after king h2, let's see if uh, he played some move. Yeah, c5. Mm -hmm. Again, one typical move in this position. Actually, I like this move because uh, the main idea is to prepare one very interesting runaway with the king, king mm -hmm. d7, king c6. Oh. This is possible idea in uh, this position. So. For example, at some point, black wants to do this. It's uh, very interesting because the king is very active on uh, c6. Very safe. For active example, uh, yeah. Safe because white. Uh, yeah, for example, after some c4, king d7 would mm -hmm. come. This so would be the idea, and king is going to c6. What, uh, white will play now okay, now it's c5. Uh, what is the main. Okay, now the, the thing. Main yeah, yeah, the, maybe the possible the idea. The possible yeah. idea, Yeah, is, uh, okay, for me it looks like um, here white can choose whether he will play b3, mm -hmm. simply with the idea to put the bishop on b2, so for example, he just let, the, uh, let this king d7, mm -hmm. king c6, and just to try to push maybe e6 and then uh, try to play on this side. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, recently in a completely different line, but uh, it's also in Berlin Wall. I mean, mm -hmm. just uh, Kramnik lost one uh, important game against uh, Wesley Sol. It was in Dortmund mm -hmm. 2015. So it, this tournament was like a couple of months ago. I mean, uh, so it's possible idea. It's, uh, I'm uh, not so sure. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, not so easy to say whether now white has better chances or black yes, has better course, chances. Okay. This is exactly why uh, the top black players are can playing. Play it. something like bishop e6, yes? Yeah, bishop and e6 then and, then and bishop e7 in finishing the development and mm -hmm. so on. We'll see wha how Rajabo will react because king h2 was, of course, a preparation of some break mm -hmm. on the king side. I don't know. Now maybe even uh, g4 can be one of the ideas. Mm -hmm. just after h5 to play king g3. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not really a big fan of this idea for white because um, a few years ago, I think actually it's, uh, it's not even maybe a few years, it was in 2008, so seven years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> a little bit longer than few. I was playing similar position first and only time I was playing the main line mm -hmm. in uh, Berlin uh, in this variation 
and it was not against uh, weak with pair. White? Uh, with white, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was playing against Taronyan, so <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was doing the similar <laughs> idea with King H2, King G3, and then at some point he gave me check with H4, and uh, it was after King H2, somehow I was not able to move the knight and to push F4. <laughs> Later on, I somehow I reached it, but uh, <laughs> it was not so good. And uh, at that game was actually the reason why I started to play the same line mm -hmm. with, uh, with black, black pieces. pieces. Yeah, yeah. And okay, uh, some good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was using the the you fact that I learned that something in that game. Yeah. Yes. I, I was happy to survive, but okay, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it was not the good feeling during the game. And uh, now let's see the f si uh, the sixth board. Uh, I think that uh, this game is uh, also very interesting because uh, I was walking a little bit uh, down and yeah. I saw that uh, Mamejaro is actually feeling uh, really good and uh, <laughs> self-confident self and uh, also he again chose the very sharp line. Mm -hmm. So we can start from the beginning. Uh, Landa played d4 and now Mamejaro recently started to play f5 move so it's uh, Actually, it's in his style, mm -hmm. it's giving really dynamic uh, play, it's concrete, and a uh, lot of things is happening mm -hmm. here with uh, uh, now today with the uh, interior and so on. It's worth to say maybe that uh, uh, Wojtaszek was actually beating uh, in Vajkanze first, uh, he beat uh, Carlsen and then Caruana in the with white pieces, uh -huh. and somehow this was uh, shaking the whole uh, <laughs> opening, but. Uh, Still, Still, some players okay, are playing Mamejaro. it, it's normal, yeah. We can expect this and mm -hmm. now this is the main line, again, normal moves. We can say until here that everything is uh, really uh, normal. And now uh, B3 is the one of the safest line mm -hmm. in this setup. Uh, I also played a couple of times. Uh, C4, yes? No, 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 I was playing this Dutch defense with black pieces a couple of uh -huh. times. And okay. C4 is the main move here, of course, D6, Knight C3. And uh, I think that Mamajaro here, he would play C6 mm -hmm. because he played it a couple of times. I was playing a couple of games, Queen E8, and uh, I was quite successful. This is uh, mm -hmm. everything well known mm -hmm. and so on. Maybe this is a little bit uh, more classical line, I mean, than C6, which is modern. and. Uh, However, it's, uh, it, it was not choice of uh, Landa mm -hmm. in this game. And now after B3, uh, Mamejaro played really fast move C5. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a rare move actually, because uh, the main line is D6. Mm -hmm. And now White plays Bishop B2 and C6. And uh, now the point of D6, C6 is actually that uh, Black is waiting for White to decide whether he will uh, develop the Knight mm -hmm. on D2 or he will play c4 move. And uh, generally, in uh, after knight bd2, for example, the main move is a5, mm -hmm. trying to play a4, a4 in some yes. future mm -hmm. and so on. And the idea is that after a4, black plays now knight a6. Mm -hmm. So there are some differences, because if knight e1 happens and knight d3, then knight b4 is possible. Mm -hmm. I think that even my, uh, uh, my teammate from Bosnia uh, League uh, uh, played against Wang Hao knight e1, knight e6, knight d3, and Wang Hao played knight b4. And Black did not have any kind of mm -hmm. problems after knight b4, a b4, a3, mm -hmm. uh, b a3. B8 it's obviously yeah. that uh, this position is not a really big problem for Black because his first uh, will come to a line after mm -hmm. queen e5. And uh, at the end, the game was finished as well, but mm -hmm. uh, still position was pleasant cool. for Black. So mm -hmm. e5 is the idea, I mean, the main move. And now c4 is, of course, the. the the, the main thing. A4, yes. Yeah, no, A4 is uh, like what I said now, but mm -hmm. C4 is the main move, and now Black has a little bit better chances mm -hmm. to push E5 because the main idea after Knight BD2 is to stop this possible trick E5, mm -hmm. D5, Knight G4, and now the problem is, of course, move Knight C4, mm -hmm. which is keeping the pawn and the move position five, for yes. Black is really critical here. Mm -hmm. However, uh, Mamejaro chose this move C5. Now c4 happened, knight cd4, bishop b2, knight c6, knight d4, queen b6, knight c2. Mm -hmm. uh, all moves by major were played extremely fast. d6, knight c3, bishop d7, knight d3, queen a5. And uh, this is the final position now, in, uh, in, the, in this what moment. Do you and think uh, about this Okay, first of all, with the pawn on f7, mm -hmm. for example, and uh, this would be like typical uh, English opening. Mm -hmm. What uh, black got? 
compared to the normal opening is actually this pawn on f5, mm -hmm. which can be very interesting, uh, very interesting uh, position for mm -hmm. black. Now, okay, they played also a couple of moves in the meantime. Knight c d5 happened. Knight d5, bishop mm -hmm. d5, check. So obviously now that uh, uh, Shakriar has to play king h8 move mm -hmm. because uh, e6 would be the mistake. Simply bishop c6, bishop mm -hmm. c6, taking on g7, king g7, queen d6, and white is pawn up. Mm -hmm. At least uh, in in this moment it looks like it's pawn up. Mm -hmm. So I think that after bishop d5 we can expect actually move king a, king h8 mm -hmm. from uh, from uh, Shahriar. Now we will see mm -hmm. uh, will what will happen. In uh, in meantime, I actually suggest that maybe we check some. Uh, uh, games on second board because the, today we can see that first and second board, especially second board, is uh, uh, Russian, Russian teams are playing teams, uh, yes. each other, and uh, we have Kramnik, Nepomniachtchi, and other uh, famous players there. So mm -hmm. we will uh, now check first of all the game between Kramnik and uh, Nepo. So, uh, okay. Nepomniachtchi again. Uh, with uh, black uh, yeah, 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 yes. yeah, yeah. He yeah. Now what we can see actually here, uh, it's very interesting that Kramik was asking from the organizers to have a better light. So he was not uh, <laughs> he was not satisfied with the light in the yes. playing <laughs> hall, and you can see this lamp which is staying there <laughs> and uh, directly uh, <laughs> doing the job. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so. Uh, it's interesting to say before we start to analyze the game that actually Kramnik beat uh, this year two times. He beat uh, yeah. Nepomniachtchi yeah, with white pieces, mm. uh, and uh, I think that uh, for Nepo it's quite unpleasant when he's playing with white, uh, with black pieces mm -hmm. against uh, uh, Vladimir. And, uh, and we will see. Yeah. Uh, for everyone. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's probably everyone, for yes. everyone. Yeah, but, uh, yeah in this case. but in this case, <laughs> it's like because he lost last two games with the uh, black pieces, and uh, actually he was not. Uh, Staying well out of the opening, in a, especially in the last game, which was in Dortmund. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see that uh, we can see the game now from the beginning. D4, knight f6, knight f3, g6, g3. This is something new. I mean, from uh, mm -hmm. Vladimir because uh, in this year, in first game, he had won against uh, Nepomniachtchi. I mean, he played bishop g5 move. Mm -hmm. So today he chose the another line. And uh, after g3, bishop g7, bishop mm -hmm. g2, d5. So this is uh, now going to the main line. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to say that in Dortmund, when they were playing now, <laughs> c5 was played by uh, uh, Jan, if I remember yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then c4 happened, cd4, knight d4, and uh, here uh, Nepomniachtchi didn't want to go in line, castle, knight c3 which stops move d5 mm -hmm. and he played d5 immediately which was which is actually imprecise move mm -hmm. and uh, vladimir was uh, actually playing if i remember well in this position he played knight c3 immediately mm -hmm. or something like this and after dc4 queen e4 check this was the idea of kramnik and uh, i think uh, uh, after the opening it was very critical position for for black yes. for black and mm -hmm. he lost the game i think it was like this because uh, of course after castle there would be a possibility for black mm -hmm. to play castle and to transpose to the main line. However, today Nepomniachtchi shows d5. Yeah. <laughs> and we can see that after castle, castle c3, Kramnik mm -hmm. shows the <laughs> line which is uh, very rare. Actually, he's trying to play like uh, Greenfield with the reverse color. So mm -hmm. now c5 would not have any sense because dc5 would uh, be quite good mm -hmm. option for uh, black, uh, for white, sorry. And uh, after c3, if I remember well, the main move is knight a6 mm -hmm. with idea to push c5. But uh, Nepomniachtchi played b6 move. Uh, and now c4, c6. And we can compare this position just uh, with the main line, which is going after c4, c6. And now just black has extra tempo on b6. Pound on b6 mm -hmm. But queen is cannot come uh, to mm -hmm. b6 at some point. Queen on b6 is uh, quite good. Mm -hmm. And after c4, c6, knight e5, bishop b7, knight c3, it seems that uh, uh, Vladimir was prepared until now. And knight bd7 here, uh, Kramnik started to think. And uh, mm -hmm. he spent on 10 minutes on move queen e4, knight e5, d5, knight e4, knight e4, d4. And let's see if uh, he played, ah, he played bishop f4 move. 
Oh, I, I don't uh, think I, I'm not actually uh, optimistic in this position for, for uh, white. No, no, for black. Oh, for black. Okay. Uh, I don't because think that uh, uh, Nepomniachtchi is staying really good here mm -hmm. because somehow pawn on e4 it looks really weak. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, it's now questionable how he will defend this pawn, yeah? Because I guess that uh, after moves c5. But also pawn e5. Okay. But it's tough to it's tough okay. to attack, maybe. But it okay. <laughs> because after c5, queen c2. The problem uh, of this uh, uh, of uh, for black is that actually he cannot uh, reach uh, this of e6. e6 yeah. mm -hmm. So I, I don't see really here best option for <laughs> black. I mean, but think uh, I think uh, Jan probably prepared something on or I don't know. I don't think uh. that uh, he would uh, play this position if you know. Okay, I think that c3 was quite uh, uh, surprised. Uh -huh. So I'm not so sure, but uh, this position, I mean, just at the end, I mean, maybe you can see if Nepo was playing something, but uh, does not look perspective. I mean, how to push and what to do again with this e4 pound, we see that he's actually thinking, ah, yeah. Ah, this is very good. Uh, my friend is asking one, uh, one good question, okay, so. Uh, <laughs> also, he, he is one of the players on this tournament mm -hmm. and uh, Today, our friend Udin Blikravea is playing the game and we, he has this famous uh, nickname we gave him mm -hmm. in the club. It's uh, FM from the future because he's, tar FM he's trying to, future, to become yeah. FM and he, he knows that he will do this one day. But for now, we are calling him FM, but mm -hmm. he needs some time, so he's okay. FM from the future. <laughs> so, uh, very nice question, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, so, Bishop F4, I think that mm -hmm. uh, we have to wait for... Uh, for uh, Nepo's move, because uh, for now it doesn't look, mm -hmm. I th in my opinion, maybe you, maybe you prefer uh, Jan's position, or maybe I you just, uh, I just uh, maybe you're a fan of uh, Nepo Mnjaci. <laughs> okay, I'm not a fan, but uh, okay, he's <laughs> a very strong player, so I uh, expect from him to, you know, to find some solution and. Yeah, yeah, to, to not be in the problems yes. very, very easy. Yeah. Yes, yes. I understand, I understand. So, uh, next game we can see. Also, Nepo is thinking, so we'll leave him <laughs> like this. And <laughs> we'll see now the second game, uh, Aronian against Inner Kiev. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it, it's actually Inner Kiev uh, has uh, white pieces in this game. And uh, now we can see that... Uh, Inner Kiev is thinking and uh, also Aronian on this. Uh, you can mm. see on camera that they are really... Both. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, like the both of them are <laughs> in problems. <somehow>. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, uh, it's worth to say that Inner Kiev is E4 player. And mm -hmm. uh, in the last two games against uh, Lemon, he was choosing to play E4 move. And then they were exactly playing uh, Berlin Wall, the mm -hmm. variation which we saw before. And today, Inner Kiev decided to play d4, so he wanted, surprise. Surprise. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. he wanted to surprise. Yeah, yeah. He wanted to surprise Levon. This is, I guess, very mm -hmm. tough to do. And now after d4, knight f6, c4, e6. In my opinion, knight f3, d5 was also a little bit uh, surprise actually for me because uh, uh, we know that Levon is not solid player, and somehow d5, knight c3, bishop e7. This classical mm -hmm. setup is. Uh, is very solid. Uh, I mean, Queen's Gambit declined is mm -hmm. uh, one of the most solid uh, answers for Black and uh, after D4 move. On the other side, uh, since uh, one of the uh, best friends from Levon and his mm -hmm. second, I mean, uh, Gabriel Sargisian is regularly playing mm -hmm. uh, this opening, I mean, it's of course we can expect it from uh, Levon. Mm -hmm. So now Bishop F4, Castle E3, Knight BD7, this is all I main theory. Uh, of course, in this position, c5 uh, was actually uh, main uh, is, is actually main line, and it was uh, one of the choices uh, in uh, match uh, uh, Anand uh, Carlsen. Actually, mm -hmm. Anand made this uh, very nice win against Magnus mm -hmm. exactly in this line. But however, uh, Ernesto chose the queen c2, possible move. Uh, of course, the another line just to say for the spectators is bishop e2, which also they can see that it's so many times played on the highest level. And now after, let's let's go back just to queen c2, c5. It's always good to play in the center because with queen c2, uh, white was actually 
uh, leaving his bishop on f1, mm -hmm. so he, he did not finish development. And now c5, this is again everything known, and cd rook d4, queen a5, bishop g3. If I remember well, even this move b5 is well known. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. I mean, b5 is very interesting move. Mm, Aronian is yeah. sacrificing the pawn for okay. the development. And now because the point of is. C file or, uh, yeah, yeah, he just wants to finish development. Yeah. Because after CD, it's obviously mm -hmm. that knight d5, black would be already clearly okay, better. Yes. So the only solutions to, uh, only solution to yes, solve no the problem. B5, yeah. Yes. yeah, b5, mm -hmm. bishop b7. And now what black got here is actually the possibility to play mm -hmm. on the center. And also he has uh, some. Uh, uh, development mm -hmm. uh, advantage. advantage. So yes. bishop b7, bishop b3, knight c5, knight e5. Uh, it's obviously that the knight e5 uh, in Archeo spent like almost uh, 25 mm -hmm. minutes. So it seems that maybe he was, uh, I think that first of all, he he wanted to remember what he was analyzing. Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm not, uh, I, I cannot believe that he didn't know this position. So I mm -hmm. think he was just uh, remembering the mm -hmm. main uh, analysis and now after knight d5 rook fc8 uh, position is really complicated this rook on oh, d4 with this rook on d4 yes uh, yeah it looks like uh, uh, like it will be <laughs> somehow like the main brother yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 that's true i mean rook on d4 looks like a little bit uh, can be attacked yeah yes, it's yes. Uh, but uh, we'll see on the, uh, what uh, what can happen is also that sometimes rook h4 can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm uh, if black cannot do anything against this rook on d4, it stays quite good, especially because it supports some b4 mm -hmm. in future. Of course, uh, now after rook fc8, for example, if b4 happens, mm -hmm. then black can take knight yeah. d3. This is the problem. Check and now, the, of course. Pawn on the uh, b4 is hanging. Only way to uh, defend this is uh, to play knight d3. Yeah, but now queen, queen b5, b5 yes. and now black uh, would take back the pawn, and mm -hmm. this would be the like problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if uh, he played some move. Rook f c8. Uh, for now, we can. Uh, normal move. Yeah, normal move, and we'll, we'll see later mm -hmm. this uh, okay. position and what is happening. And uh, in meantime, I just uh, I think that it's good that maybe we see another games in this match, mm -hmm. and then that we go to open section, okay. uh, to woman section. I agree with you. Okay, so the next game uh, will be Grishchuk against Nair. So this is the game so here, and. Uh, it's uh, maybe interesting to say something like uh, that. Uh, first of all, Nair is in quite good shape this year. He became uh, European champion and uh, so on. Then uh, also it's uh, good to say that uh, Grishchuk actually did not uh, beat him so many times. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, so for example, in their 11 encounters in uh, Rapid, in Blitz Chess, in, uh, in Norwell Classical Chess, there was just three draws. So, I mean, it, we are expecting today to have really interesting game and uh, we can go to the game to see a little bit uh, e4 uh, was played by Grishchuk and now c5 uh, Nair is uh, well known as the sharp player mm -hmm. so c5 of course sits on the defense the most complicated one and now knight f3 d6 bishop b5 maybe a little bit unusual chase by by uh, Alexander but bishop b5 was played couple of uh, last uh, in a uh, couple of last uh, games by uh, Magnus Carlsen and uh, I think that some of uh, his wins and uh, uh, positions were actually helping to this line to come back I mean to mm -hmm. be on the top uh, on the top level one of the players who was also playing it in uh, 90s regularly was actually uh, Rublevsky. Mm -hmm. so Bishop b5 97 uh, the one of the possible moves is of course bishop d7 but uh, okay this leads uh, this is uh, leading to some uh, uh, less uh, complicated position and so on so Nair was actually playing knight d7 and uh, trying to get uh, really the the best out of the position knight d7 c3 knight gf6 queen e2 o again line was uh, this line was played couple uh, of uh, months before by uh, world champion Magnus Carlsen mm -hmm. against, uh, if I remember good, uh, exactly against Grishchuk or maybe Giri. 
but uh, obviously that uh, it beca it starts uh, to become main uh, move. Mm -hmm. So queen e2, queen a6, e2, yes. bishop a4, b5, bishop c2. And uh, here we can see that uh, this position is uh, actually uh, somehow connected uh, with two openings, mm -hmm. Sicilian defense, but also somehow bishop c2, queen e2, and possibility that black plays e5 move mm -hmm. in this position it's actually also giving the structure from the Rai Lopez now. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are some ideas from Sicily on defense, some ideas from uh, mm -hmm. Ragozin. Uh, e5 was not played by uh, by Nair, and now bishop c2, bishop b7, d4. I think that this move is actually better choice than castle, mm -hmm. because castle is here actually the main move, and now black can play g6, either e6, and uh, for example, e6, d4, bishop e7 is line uh, his favorite line of uh, Grandmaster Wojtaszek, he, 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 he had uh, played this in uh, two games against uh, Judith Polgar in a match uh, uh, Poland uh, against uh, Hungary, it was last year. Mm -hmm. But d4 is actually an unpleasant choice because now after g6, a4 move. Uh, this is all well known, mm -hmm. actually. And uh, uh, a4 was played, I think, uh, uh, recently by Volokitin who beat uh, Ceparinov. It was last year in, uh, in Qatar, in Doha, on this uh, strong uh, open tournament. Uh, the idea is, of course, because after g6, if uh, white would play castle, then uh, bishop g7 is coming and now black finished the development. And white has this uh, center with d4 mm -hmm. and d4, but, uh, but not, not so easy mm -hmm. to develop the pieces like knights from b1 and so on. So a4, bishop g7. That's exactly the move. Mm -hmm. And uh, now e5. I think that all of this was played also by... Uh, all of these moves are well known, yes? I think it was played already in the game mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, Volokitin and uh, Ceparino. And now d, d, bishop f3, gf, mm -hmm. knight d5, and uh, a, b, a, a6, I think that this is novelty. I think mm -hmm. that a, b was played by... Uh, or f4 maybe was played by uh, uh, Volokitin here mm -hmm. with the idea to put the bishop on e4. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not so sure actually, but uh, uh, if uh, now I maybe I made, made a mistake because I think that knight h5 was played actually. By ah, okay. so and now f4 is actually very, very mm -hmm. logical and then bishop e4 and bishop f3 is coming. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the possible uh, idea for white mm -hmm. and then this knight would be weak. I think this was exactly in the game. So knight d5 is officially the novelty. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. right, uh, in my opinion. Now e6, f6, a, b, a, b, rook a8, queen a8, queen b5, knight c7, queen a4. So this is a uh, interesting position. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously that Grishchuk was pending after ninth move some time, but uh, it seems that uh, Nair is prepared because he is playing quite uh, fast all of his moves. Mm -hmm. After Queen A4, I'm not so sure what is happening. Mm -hmm. I guess that the main idea for White would be that after Queen F3, now he plays either Bishop E4, or either Queen E4. Mm -hmm. One of these two moves, but Bishop E4 looks quite strong. Yes. With the idea to put Bishop on C6, C6, C6. and so on, and uh, so maybe Queen F3 is not possible mm -hmm. to take. Probably. Okay, uh, like would be maybe okay because if he plays queen g4, even h3 is very unpleasant uh, yes. idea because uh, obviously that after h3, black cannot uh, actually he can play b queen h4 because, ah, because this trick is uh, not working. The because now the queen is defended. This is actually eight, yes. so mm -hmm. maybe. Yes. But anyway, h3, queen h4, and the possible idea can be just bishop c6, queen a4, bishop very a4, unpleasant. and this uh, this end game okay, does not look really good. Knight d5. Yeah, yeah, but B6, yeah, yeah. But anyway, this is slightly uh -huh. worse, at least for yes, black. So it seems that Queen F3 is mm -hmm. uh, not really uh, best move, mm -hmm. but uh, it's maybe also not so easy to suggest we'll something. See what I think that maybe Queen C8 is uh, actually mm -hmm. better chance for him. It looks a little bit uh, slow, but uh, actually after long, after it's short castle. Very interesting position with uh, those pawns on F2 and uh, F. Three and uh, e seven, e six. six yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's okay, uh, white uh, have pair of uh, bishops. bishops yeah, yes, yeah. so maybe it's easier uh, and a little, slightly better position for white. Yeah, it's and also. But it I don't know. 
You are not also sure. sure. I, yes, I'm also course. not so sure. We will see. I mean, uh, what will happen because in a normal game, it's uh, always you know mm -hmm. uh, very interesting. Uh, see. Yeah, yeah. They played a couple of moves actually: queen a4, queen f3, bishop e4, and queen h5. This is what happened in meantime mm -hmm. while we were speaking. So, hmm, interesting idea because I guess that Nair wants to sacrifice the piece. Mm -hmm. This, uh, I think that this is, uh, and also Nair played this move very, uh, very fast. So, I guess that uh, his, uh, yeah, after bishop c6, that he wants to play this move castle. That this is his main idea, somehow because uh, I guess that after bishop uh -huh. d7, now he yes. would be. Yeah, queen f3, rook f1. I don't, I'm not so sure what is happening. Yes, yes, I mean, okay. but uh, now maybe after rook f1, maybe some possible idea. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. not really fun, but it's also questionable what to do after bishop c6. I mean, if uh, this is not working, okay, obviously that black can play actually castle, and after bishop d7, this move also looks very unpleasant. Yeah, mm -hmm. with idea to give the check on f2 and also to take on b1. Mm, not really, but uh, okay. Now also castle is another option, and uh, so on, and then some development. So this position looks uh, very, very dangerous mm -hmm. for <laughs> for black. We'll see what uh, what Nair was actually finding after queen h5. I think that now Alexander is thinking, and uh, uh, we'll see. I, I hope that uh, he will have some time. At yes. the end, because uh, uh, Alexander is uh, always in a uh, tight mood in uh, some time trouble. Time Yesterday trouble, yes. he had uh, less than two minutes mm -hmm. and uh, he had this uh, rook up okay, and uh, he almost won he, game and he yeah he won the very good he, in very yeah yeah he won game but it was not so easy. I mean he was rook up and uh, mm -hmm. he had really big technical problems to win that game. And uh, now. Yeah, this is uh, we have uh, one uh, nice tweet from. Uh, Grandmaster David S uh, David Smerdon. So when you have got Caruana, Grishuk, and uh, Nakamura all fighting for the board uh, for the board three prize, yeah, there is something strange with the system. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's interesting commentary. Uh, yes. But uh, okay, <laughs> so what to do? It's uh, uh, teams they can decide how they will uh, put their players on uh, which boards and so on. Of course, uh, uh, we hope that uh, all three of them will play each other. Actually, yes. next <laughs> rounds, then it's uh, it's very it will be very interesting to see what happens mm -hmm. because we will have these top uh, top games. But uh, also, it's uh, interesting to say that yesterday we had this. Uh, uh, first, we had the pairings, and then they changed the pairings. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is also something maybe is wrong with we, the system. We yeah. Don't know, but so okay. <laughs> I think uh, David is right. Something <laughs> is wrong with the system. <laughs> so, uh, so after this game, I think it's okay, uh, go to the. Check. Women section yeah. for a little yeah. because we have very interesting match. Gambit Aseko against Nona. Uh, as we know, Nona uh, won. Yesterday yeah, they won yesterday. Yeah. Because uh, Nana Jagnidze at the end won uh, that end game against Gunina. Mm, and so uh, she was the hero in yes, the match. Yeah. Yes, and okay, Lela Yavakashvili um, made the draw against. Uh, yeah, I think it was uh, Giria, uh -huh, if Giria, I remember yes, good. And yes, you remember good. So, Nona won that match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, it, yeah, it, it seems that Stefanova... Uh, she is looking... Yeah, very satisfied with the mm -hmm. position. Ah, okay, this is... Uh, we can start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, okay, Stefanova chose d4, knight f6, and okay, already it's something to mention about this bishop f4 move, which... Uh, is actually uh, played a couple of times on highest level now. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, in Blitz and Rapid Games. I just to say that Stefanova yeah. played uh, against Jagnidze in uh, Monte Carlo. And, uh, okay, she had uh, white pieces also, but uh, she lost that game in some very equal uh, ending. Uh -huh, you know, so, so maybe, maybe he is now uh, it's time uh, to... Maybe she's waiting for revenge. Yeah, maybe, uh, yes. It's, uh, so. Yeah, we will see. Uh, okay, anyway, after bishop f4, e6, mm -hmm. e3, b6, I think this is all normal, yeah? Mm -hmm. So knight is not on f3, but knight came on f3, and okay, this is all, I think, well-known ideas. Bishop g5, bishop e7, bishop e7, queen e7, mm -hmm. and now Stefanova styles g4. Yeah? Yes, I like her <laughs> style. It's not so easy to play 
against her. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, G4 is uh, it's mm -hmm. a funny move because usually uh, most of the players would like play like maybe bishop d3, mm -hmm. finishing development and so on. And then, and then you maybe short castle mm -hmm. just playing e4 and something mm -hmm. like this. But g4, uh, really active move, knight f6, g5, knight e4, rook g1. Yeah. So now this is uh, already here. Nana had to choose what to do. Mm -hmm. And actually f5, gf, knight f6, everything for now looks very normal. Mm -hmm. I mean, after c3, okay, personally, uh, I do not believe so much in white's attack, mm -hmm. but uh, it looks unpleasant. So uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. because now uh, we can see that both of the players, they are, they are trying to, to force first one mm -hmm. to, to castle somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yes, Stefano sir. is uh, trying to play all these useful moves just mm -hmm. to not make a castle, and uh, is the same. Uh, Thing uh, with uh, Nana. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. with Nana. Now she's on the move, and uh, I don't know, but if she wants to wait with the castle, it's, uh, she'll have to find something to play, yeah, because it's not so easy to. Now she has, uh, I think, big decision whether mm -hmm. she will uh, go to Long Castle or not. I think that this move is just possible. It should not be that B4 and A4. Mm -hmm. It's uh, so fast, I guess, that some E5, E5 can be. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe even uh, here, maybe maybe for a castle, maybe e5 is interesting mm -hmm. uh, move for for uh, black because I, I guess that after e5 the obvious mm -hmm. threat is to push pawn on e4. e4. So uh, I think that they played a couple of uh, moves exactly like this e5 mm -hmm. and uh, taking uh, everything. So yeah, uh, yeah. So and uh, okay, we will see what uh, what will happen because here th they played a couple of moves. Mm -hmm. And uh, for now, we don't see it here, but uh, that uh, e5 happened, and uh, uh, this exchange is d5, knight e5, knight e5, queen e5, rook d7, castle. Obviously, that uh, black has compensation mm -hmm. here, and I think that game will be very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see later. We'll yeah, yeah. Check. After, uh, I think that uh, we will check this game after uh, we, uh, we make one interview with the uh, Grandmaster Jan Rogers, who will uh, be here with us for uh, one minute, so we'll now make a short break. Okay. Welcome to chess.com. Chess.com is social. Now you can play chess with your friends whenever you want, whether that's middle of the day or middle of the night. You can get instantly matched up with one of over five million other members from around the world. You play live games in real time, turn-based games at your convenience, or tournaments with anyone at any time. Chess.com is mobile. You can play online from your computer, or you can play on the go from your tablet or your smartphone. No matter where you go, whether you're at work, grabbing a bite to eat, or you're just enjoying some time at the park, your games are there with you, and keeping multiple chess games going has never been easier. Chess.com is for learning. Don't just play chess, get better. The best chess training resources have never been more accessible. Learn essential chess strategy quickly and easily with the extremely popular Tactics Trainer Tool. Improve your game in ways you didn't know were possible with training videos by chess masters. And regardless of where you're at now, take your game to the next level with multiple simple to use training tools. Chess.com is for everyone. Over 250 million chess games have been played on chess.com. And it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or a grandmaster. Chess.com is the place to play and learn chess. So create your free account now and see what chess.com is for you.
So welcome back. Today we have some special guests. Today with us is um, uh, Grandmaster Ian Rogers. So um, I just wanted to um, ask you a couple of questions. You're here in Skopje, but uh, you're not playing here. So uh, what, uh, what are you doing here? Your My main job here is a journalist. I'm mm -hmm. having a look at the game, seeing uh, how everything is going. And it's actually my first chance to visit Skopje. I've mm -hmm. been through here on a train many times, but never mm -hmm. stopped in the city. And uh, it's quite an extraordinary place. Uh, OK. How do you like Skopje? Well, it's amazing. It's mm -hmm. got more statues than a museum per square meter. It's uh, it's remarkable. I, you know, I uh, I spent maybe six months in mm -hmm. Niche and never got to Skopje uh, mm -hmm. during my playing career in the 80s. So it was uh, quite remarkable to realize what a what a city there was yes. just nearby. Okay, so y you were in Niche, yes? M many times. Many I played times. tournaments there, and also it was where I was staying when I was playing in, in nearby tournaments in uh, in Bor. Mm -hmm. uh, in um, sometimes in Valuvo, Pradivo, these places, mm -hmm. I would come back to Niche, had friends there, mm -hmm. and, uh, including your dad, uh -huh. and, okay. uh, who played a number of tournaments uh, with me in the 80s, to, uh, the old generation. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, it, I mean, it must be strange for you, since uh, Skopje is now a different country, and when yes, I was there, it was very it easy was to go. Uh, Your neighbor, former Yugoslavia, and uh, everything. But now it's but it's okay. Uh, Skopje is near to Niš, so. Uh, so, yeah. okay. Yeah, Niš is what, the, s the fourth biggest, or no, second biggest city in Serbia it's now? It's not or? second, but okay, Belgrade is first, and uh, then Novi Sad, mm -hmm. and then uh, Niš, mm -hmm. so, yeah. but uh, Niš is smaller, but it's very nice, so. Mm -hmm. And how did you come to be here? Uh, what? How, how is it that you are here? Uh, okay, I um, I was in Skopje a couple of times. I played some uh, Karpoš Open mm. maybe uh, That's two March, years yeah. ago. And uh, yes, mm. so I like Skopje very much. So I'm very happy I'm here and I'm doing this job. Even uh, maybe I'm not so good, but okay, I'm here. Here with me is Borki. He's doing his job very well. So. We are very happy we are here and uh, so... Um, yeah, it's, it's some amazing teams this time. I mean, the last two years there's only been three teams in the top mm -hmm. three, uh, Malachite and uh, Novi Bor and of course mm -hmm. Soka and uh, suddenly we don't have Malachite anymore. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> it's those players have gone off to other teams and we have a, a super Macedonian team in, uh, yes, in Alkaloid. Yes, very, very yeah. good. So we uh, have in women's section and in men, and both of teams are very strong. Yeah, I know the men's one is sponsored by a pharmaceutical. Do you know who the sponsor of the women's uh, Macedonian team is? I don't know. Yeah, because uh, it's a different different name. But mm -hmm. Al Alkaloid is, I guess it's their first big chess sponsorship. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, they've certainly got a, a good team together. Um, who are they playing with today? Um, uh, they? Okay, we can see on uh, uh, yeah. our video, we Stefanova mm. playing... Oh, this is the yes. Aseko Sage Aseko, team. yes. So, and yeah, getting Shen Yang from China. Today is a very important match for both of these Yeah, teams. well, I mean, because there's no team from uh, uh, Monaco anymore, you would mm -hmm. think the Georgian team is the hot favourite for the women's. Yeah, they, uh, they, they managed to win. They won yesterday the yeah, and they also won uh, last year with one round to spare mm -hmm, yes. when the uh, Monaco team didn't do so well. Maybe uh, that was sort of the end of the Monaco experiment because they tried to get a uh, like a, a super team together mm -hmm. and uh, they didn't actually win last time. So you would think Georgia uh, would do well. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, the game I wanted to look at was uh, Lee Chow against Dubov because mm -hmm. this... Uh, Okay, for a start, Lee Chow playing on board five in any team is, is quite remarkable, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, let's see, I think that's, which one, no? Can we help you? Uh, you we want, want to go to the men's teams. Uh -huh, to the men, okay, something like this and okay. all one section. Okay. And let's see, no, and, uh, uh, team board. Team okay, board. so Dubov, Dubov, who's coming off a very good result in um, Berlin, World Rapid and Blitz, and Li Chao, the Chinese player who, uh, well, basically can't play in China anymore. He's living in Germany now, uh, and he's more or less excluded from any Chinese sort of tournaments or team tournaments. So uh, he has to make his way in Europe. He's now got up to, I think, number 14 in the world, um, and 
it's it's pretty hard to leave him out of the Olympic team, but it mm -hmm. seems like they're going to do it. Obviously, they have some extremely strong players in uh, Yu, Yu Yangi and Ding Li Ren and so on. Yu Yangi is also playing here. Mm -hmm. But uh, still, to leave the world under 14 out of your Olympic team, it's almost like the old Soviet Union. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> anyway, uh, Dubov has managed to trick Li Chao. It's a, it started as a dragon, a uh, normal mm -hmm. dragon. And uh, White plays six bishop e2, which is... Oh, sorry, it, no, it didn't start as a dragon. My apologies, it started with uh, bishop d7 before mm -hmm. it went into a dragon, which uh, uh, yeah, some Russian players have been experimenting with. It's, uh, you can sometimes get into a rouser, you can... Uh, but after bishop e2, g6, you're, you're in a dragon, and a classical dragon. Now, the bishop on d7 is not perfect here, but it's one of the plans for black is knight c6, knight takes d4, and bishop c6, so it's not stupid on d7. But the way uh, Dubov plays it is very clever. First of all, queen d2. Mm -hmm. So now you're letting black play knight g4. But if they play knight g4 and you take it and the bishop takes it, it's one mm -hmm. tempo extra. And then you play f3 and you castle oh. queenside. You can uh, show that yeah, to okay. so, so the let's people say knight who are g4. watching us because... Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, so if it's knight g4, mm -hmm. which is usually what you do when white forgets to play mm -hmm. f3. Then take, take, let's say f3, bishop goes back again. Mm -hmm. and you castle queenside. Now, no, normally this is not so dangerous for black, but here with the mm -hmm. extra tempo for white, the attack can come quite mm -hmm. quickly, and it's a little bit scary. Uh, so we go up to yes. the game again, uh, and instead of that, Lee Chow decides to play knight c6. Mm -hmm. And this is where things get a little bit strange. Okay, castles, castles, h4, h5, king b1, mm -hmm. rook c8, f3. Looks like a normal dragon, mm -hmm. except white has played bishop e2. So at first sight you think, okay, white has lost a tempo here with bishop e2. And in fact, that would be true if black chose one of the plans like knight takes d4. But most mm -hmm. of the knight takes d4 plans, you want your bishop on e6, not mm -hmm. on, on e2. So that one doesn't work. And the, the, the good thing from Dubov's point of view is when black plays knight e5. It's a good thing for white. A good yes. thing for white, mm -hmm. because think about it. In your normal main line, the bishop mm -hmm. goes to c4, mm -hmm. to b3, and then when you play knight c4, you take it. Mm -hmm. The bishop has taken three moves to take yes. the knight. Now when you play knight c4 and we take it, Just it's only moves. taken two, mm -hmm. it's a whole tempo better. Mm -hmm. So the game continued, knight d5, knight c4, take, take. And this is a very strange position, because I reckon this has probably happened 50 times, but with black to play. And suddenly we have a position with Dubov with white to play, and I guess he doesn't really know what to do. Mm -hmm. You can't play bishop h6 because we take on d4, so mm -hmm. there's no uh, obvious move. And, uh, well, uh, maybe knight d2 is, is playable, uh, sort of a, a old-fashioned move mm -hmm. to play bishop h6 later, but mm -hmm. it doesn't feel f anything fantastic. Uh, and so in the end, Dubov decided to play b3, mm -hmm. which makes sense. And suddenly, knight takes d5. So if you take that rook, well, there are two, two reasonable plans. Mm -hmm. One is just to take the dark squared bishop. Queen takes, and then play something like queen b6 check, rook c8. Mm -hmm. So let's say if yes. takes a rook, I if may as well put it on the screen, if I can find the mouse. Uh, up uh -huh. there, yeah. Okay. So if we take, mm -hmm. we can take. Take, uh, throw a check in, I guess, mm -hmm. king somewhere, and play rook c8. And, and it's, it's, it's very it's nice position it's for black. Yes. Indeed. It's yeah. with full compensation for. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. it's hard to imagine that this can be even equal for white. Maybe yes. Okay. Maybe. Oh no, no, you don't have an easy move. Mm. Maybe rook d3, but I don't trust it. Mm -hmm. So, okay, this is not, not a lot of fun. Um, so, probably that's enough. Mm -hmm. I was also looking at knight b6 just to p put something on c4, mm -hmm. and if necessary, queen c8. You won't be able to keep the c4 pawn. Mm -hmm. And with the knight on c4, again, full compensation. So yes. uh, Dubov probably didn't have to think too long before he took back on d5. Mm -hmm. And now the rook has to choose a square. Um, you have to be a little bit careful here. Uh, because, for example, if you play rook c5, I'd be getting very nervous about knight e6. Maybe, yeah, so if yes, take I take on c5, c5. take back, d6. take d6, looks like winning. Mm -hmm. 
The only reason it would not be winning is if we can play queen c7, queen, queen e5. Queen e5. But, but I'm sure that c3 is enough. Okay, oh, queen d5. Queen d5, ah, queen d5, yeah, that's good. So yeah, th that's good enough. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't go back to c5, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and that means you have to come back somewhere to normal. C8, yes. And here, yeah, a lot of the time this is uh, a little bit better for white. So which position uh, you prefer? White or black piece? Well, I would probably say white. Uh, the real question here is, does white have time to go g4? Mm -hmm. If and white can play g4 h5. and h5, then mm -hmm. it's a, it could just be a completely winning. Mm -hmm. Because also we have bishop h6 here because there's no rook mm -hmm. takes d4. And, uh, so this is scary. Yes, <laughs> very. Um, oftentimes it's not actually mate, because when you take on g6, it takes with the f-pawn, mm -hmm. the king can run away. But it's still... Yes, yeah, sometimes knight e6 and your know, king and doesn't run mm -hmm. away. And yes, yes, so yes, it's uh, it's not fun playing this and tough uh, position for yeah, black. Maybe a computer can defend this, mm -hmm. but I'd, I'd be scared. So, so, but it looks almost forced. So rook c8 and g4. The good thing about g4 is also uh, some of these plans involve taking on d4 and playing mm -hmm. bishop f5. G4 means that. Well, I, I mean, actually, that that gives me the idea. Maybe. You have to get desperate immediately, but mm -hmm. I guess queen takes is good. Bishop f5. Well, uh, this is not so clear also. It's, it's very close to winning, but uh, if we take here... OK, I can take on c2 immediately, but I, let's say I just play f6 mm -hmm. and ask you where the mate is. But OK, if I don't take on c2, probably rook h2 and double and... Or uh, maybe it's better because of uh, g3, rook d2. And c come across anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to cut double on the h file, mm -hmm. so yeah. I, I, it's true. So I, it's, it's a seriously scary attack. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't really come to c5, did he? We will see. I just... Uh, he did? Yes, he did. Okay, so what is the problem here? Is it rook takes d5? Maybe. You can at least uh, take, 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 take. Better for white, for sure. Mm -hmm. So rook, uh, rook takes. At, at the worst, okay. take, 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 and take. Oh, okay. Take a seven. Mm -hmm. Only no pawns no for the exchange. No problem for white and. Uh, Should be mm -hmm. win winning technically. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Uh, bishop takes. We can take here first if we want. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe that the end. Now I, I, uh. I mean, you can play like this, but your bishop can't stay on d4 because mm -hmm. c3 all the time. Yeah. Doesn't look like enough for an exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like it's bad. So, what's his idea? I don't know, but we can uh, wait uh, to see what um, White yeah. will play. So it we can now go to next game. Okay. Uh, Grishchuk, Nair, yes. Okay. Uh, here and we will find just a second. Here we Aha, go. You find, so you where did you leave so this game? Um, maybe already. Was it already e5 when you left it or not? I uh, yes. E5, e5 was five. Uh, yes, yes. Take 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 take. Yes, e6 and it. it wow, this is where you stopped. Mm -hmm. Okay, this looks very double-edged. I'm not sure mm -hmm. this is fantastic for Grishuk. I wonder what. Do we have clock times in this game? No, here no, ah. but... Uh, uh -huh. Because... It's uh, 16 minutes for Grishuk and one hour for... Yeah. Uh -huh, it's so uh, Grishuk has a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Naya, would he be comfortable with an hour? I'm not sure, but okay. What you think e6 is not maybe the precise move? Oh, no, no, e6 uh, is false. Ah, okay. Uh, other well, maybe you can play f4 here, but uh, if black plays e6, you'll never play mm -hmm. f5 and... Should be okay. No, this because is, this Borky is said that uh, yep. in this position he think that the main uh, move is uh, knight uh, h5. Right. So after knight d5, Oops. it's... Um, knight h5, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, a f e6 f4, 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 I think, yes. Yes, but, uh, e6. e6. Yeah, then it's a question mm -hmm. if the knight on h5 is good or not. Um, because you can play bishop h6 and we play mm -hmm. uh, queen f3 or something like that. 
although you have to be careful about Nitex E5. Mm -hmm. So there's some small problems there as well. Of course, B5, well, B5 is not really hanging, yeah. So, so okay, I don't, tr I don't trust this. Changes. I, actually, I don't, don't really believe this because one of the big ideas for black here is to play G5. Mm -hmm. uh, but if your knight is sitting on H5, you won't be able to mm -hmm. do it. And if you're not on D5, then if white plays F4 after E6, G5 becomes a real problem. Okay, but so I think I like knight D5. Oh, okay, okay. So E6, okay, take, 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 take. Equal and pawns, pair of bishops. Yes. So the only problem is this stupid kingside pawn it's structure. It's a little strange because of that <coughs> yeah. pawns. And at the moment we can't castle. Mm -hmm. So knight c7. And now white played very interesting move, knight h, uh, a4. Queen, so queen a4, we, yeah. we were calculating uh, queen, queen f3. f3. Which he played. Yes. I'm not surprised that Bishop is spending a lot of time mm -hmm. here. Bishop here, okay. Queen. And uh, now uh, black played queen h5. So we was wondering what uh, after bishop c6. Yeah, well, my guess is you just uh, castle, yeah? Castle, yes, okay. We were yeah, talking uh, about and, uh, castle. This, yeah, then take on d7. I mm -hmm. guess we put the queen on f3. Three. And, uh, and uh, rook f1. And that. This is where you stopped, mm -hmm. was it? Yes, yeah. now I. Okay, and uh, we we are definitely a piece down. Mm -hmm. Let's and not. I can't move my knight. Uh, do we have a, a move apart oh. from queen f3? Not so easy. Queen Maybe d5. Maybe something bishop else uh, uh, after uh, bishop c6. I don't know. Do you think so? It's, right. it's hard but to believe uh, you can allow uh, this I with think check. Uh, yes, okay. No, I, I, I'm sure he's worried about this mm -hmm. stuff. Rook f1, mm -hmm. and we need something big here. <laughs> and the problem with knight d5 is you can take Maybe e6. something like... Oh no. So there's no queen e4. There is a rook a8 I if you want. I uh, thought rook f, uh, f5 and... And rook e5 check. Okay, yes, try, or try rook this. d5. But, uh, what okay, about this? Uh -huh. To play rook a1. Borky said something about that move. Because if you place, for example, mm -hmm. queen c6, I'll okay, take you still I can get, uh, but bishop e4 is the problem. And rook a1, yes. Yeah, so even this... Ah, bishop e4, yes. Yeah, it seems to be winning for mm -hmm. white. So it's not enough for the piece. Mm -hmm. So it feels like we're missing some big tactic here. Um, mm -hmm. Because otherwise bishop would play bishop c6. I'm sure that was mm -hmm. a, his original idea. Um, we have... Queen e5 and knight d5, but I don't really believe it. Mm -hmm. We have queen f5. That's the problem. Ah, Double attack. Yes. We missed that. Okay. Yes. And it's rook f1, we take yeah, the knight. Obvious, if you castle, mm -hmm. probably. Okay. Well, I castles is possible, but uh, yeah. Take on b1. Yeah, bishop Maze. f4. Uh -huh. I'm and scared. Uh, okay. It's annoying. Mm -hmm. I, I'm looking for some perpetual with queen g4 instead of taking b1, but I can't decoy your queen away because fast enough. Mm, maybe Unless I start maybe first uh, bishop d4. Or rook here. Mm -hmm. Could be useful. But queen I c6. I thought something like bishop d4 maybe. Ah, li I like it. Nice move. Indeed. And we threaten that. You can put a bishop on c6. Oh no, we have queen g4. Well, okay, let's try this. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. But now we can take mm -hmm. king h1 and we can safely yeah. take on b1. There's no bishop yes. f4 or anymore. Uh, or knight d5. Yeah. I'm and not sure this is so great for black, but yeah. <laughs> we have our piece back. I'm mm -hmm. happy. Okay. okay, so he played bishop f4. Mm -hmm. And now we have a almost a threat here but also knight d5 coming mm -hmm. sorry no, um, bishop c6 coming so knight d5 looks almost forced bishop g3 so now the white king is at least safe mm -hmm. and black still can't castle for the moment mm -hmm. so we can play knight b6 and we, then we can castle if we want yes uh, that's like 
it's a little a good bit thing for it, her, it, it yeah. is but it feels like white will be simply better mm -hmm. uh, let's say we play um, bishop c6 I know you oh, oh sorry we can't uh -huh. queen so queen b5 you castle. castle and then maybe bishop c7 or something mm -hmm. I'm just nervous we won't we'll lose one of these guys um, now it still feels like black maybe will have some mm -hmm. counterplay somehow but I don't actually see okay, it. something like queen, queen h4 or double attack mm -hmm. and forces queen e2 and then we don't lose anything yes okay that's fine so yeah this is playable uh, definitely playable it's very interesting position yeah because um, man attack. It, yeah it doesn't look if black can develop and not mm -hmm. lose one of these guys then uh, one of these knights then, then black actually is okay position for but black yeah the bishops are nice but mm -hmm. uh, the knights will come in it, it, yeah once once mm -hmm. black has his knights coordinated i really want to put this knight back on d5 later because i think mm -hmm. knight f4 will come but the big priority is to castle mm -hmm. uh, so yeah i'm not surprised that grishuk is using a lot of time around here uh, let's have a look at that he's played it okay mm -hmm. he played knight b6 and no this is this is really a challenge for grishuk um, they it's it's a very weird tournament where you have um, Grishuk on board three, mm. Caruana on board three, yes, Nakamura on board three. About, uh, yeah, yes. I mean, yeah, to uh, to get this board prize will be mm -hmm. a, a big challenge. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's that's Grishuk's game. Mm -hmm. um, we had the Topalov Gelfand uh, Sveshnikov. Mm -hmm. uh, this was, of course, what Gelfand used through the World Championship to mm -hmm. kill an Anne z4, mm -hmm. uh, and in the end, an found himself playing Bishop b5 mm -hmm. stuff, but. To be honest, uh, oh, we have a tweet from David Smurden. Yes. Ah, okay. All Australians think alike. Fighting for board Can three. Can you see from we here? Yes. We already had this tweet, but okay. did you? We're talking about it. Ah, right. Yeah. Okay. There you go. We, David Smurden is um, a uh, an Australian grandmaster, mm -hmm. author of um, Smurden's Scandinavian or Smurden's Centre Counter or something like that, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, no, I, re I recently uh, picked up a whole lot of books from um, a German friend mm -hmm. who was getting rid of all these English language books. But th there was one <coughs> one he wanted to hang on to, and that was Smurden's Scandinavian. So <laughs> somehow, uh, ev even in German, it reads well, it seems. Um, so, okay, uh, to pull off Gelfand, well, honestly, if Gelfand was 10 years younger, he would never lose this position. Mm -hmm. uh, and since he's playing pretty well even 10 years older, it's hard to imagine <laughs> that he will. Okay, th this plan, okay, th with B4, we saw something like this in Baku. Shanklin mm -hmm. won uh, a very nice game in the first round of, of Baku with a plan to try to make this B5 pawn extremely weak. Because mm -hmm. if you win this, then suddenly the position is, is horrible. Uh, but at the moment, as soon as you go bishop A6, we have knight D5. So uh, mm -hmm. the C3 pawn is very weak mm -hmm. as well. Yes. Uh, so I, if I were black, I would probably put my king... Uh, yeah, you have to take first. And he would take king back. F7, yes. Uh, and or well, what black square? Ah, it's yes. Oh, sorry, uh, G7. Yes, it's OK. Um, <laughs> now, the positional move to take back is, is with the A pawn, obviously. But maybe taking back with the C pawn leaves one less target. So here, I, let's see if we can get the analysis. I mean, Topalov is in danger of winning this game. Mm -hmm. um, even even taken with the C pawn, you have knight a3 as well. So there's big dangers here for uh, for, black. Uh, for for oh. girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, bishop a6 is not the problem. Knight a3 is the problem. Mm -hmm. And he just took back with the a pawn. Yes, yeah, because so this bishop from b7 uh, is very good uh, against uh, yeah, knight. Yeah, the knight. In fact, mm -hmm. is this uh, if the knight gets to b5, this is almost losing immediately. Yes. So okay. uh, the question is, okay, it, it's Gelfand. So he's going to be looking at things like f4 mm -hmm. and e3 check and some mm -hmm. counterplay over there. Uh, of course, you lose your e4 pawn. But uh, so probably okay, that's very desperate. Try something like yeah, well, I think he has this. to because mm -hmm. at least then if bishop b4, he can take on g3 and play bishop b5. So let's try f4 because quiet play allowing knight a3 looks just mm -hmm. terrible. Uh, okay, so. So not something like uh, uh, g5, I, I thought. g5, yeah. And then to maybe. Okay. G5, I don't mind also. Uh, let's see, we take it. Bishop takes, and we play knight e3. Mm -hmm. 
Now we are threatening bishop a6. Do you want another pawn move? Oh, okay. no, no, it's okay, because uh, that pawn yeah. on e4 will... Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not worried about e4, I'm worried about okay, b5. Okay, but uh, in some moment, I, I yeah. think... Uh, okay, this opposite bishop ending should okay. be losing because of connected pawns. Just wanted to see, so better yeah. idea is... Uh, but now your knight is really stuck. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe h4. Maybe. Because uh, maybe you're fast then enough. Mm -hmm. Um... So if you play bishop a6 around here, then mm -hmm. h3 is scary. Mm -hmm. And if um, you take... If you take, uh -huh. we get one tempo this I way. I'll take and... And you need to protect this pawn. Mm -hmm. And then we have time to come back to f6. Mm -hmm. And girlfriend is just about okay again. With f4 sometimes also. Mm -hmm. So that's there's not many pawns left here. So I think mm -hmm. that's drawable. But... It's already almost critical for Gelfand. He has to find an mm -hmm. active plan because anything slow and he's just going to be uh, losing b5 and that will be the end of the game. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and as soon as knight a3 happens, then after g5, mm -hmm. uh, take, bishop takes, and the king can come to c2 and suddenly mm -hmm. also you have a problem. Uh, you can't get just go attack that c3 pawn. So I think, um, no, this is... You're not so optimistic about Gelfand's position, but... No, uh, but I, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I trust him to hold you it. Trust. He's, uh -huh, a, he's okay. a good player. Yes, he, of I course. Think, yeah. uh, so, okay, we will have a two minutes break, uh, and after that, Borki will be here with you. So thank you very much for this very good conversation and for analyzing. And okay. Thanks a lot. Thank see, you. see you soon. Okay. So you're back here. <laughs> yep, I have yeah. a new friend. Yeah, so. yeah. So 
Uh, I think that uh, after you were commenting with Sander, now you were, you were commenting the open section, yeah, the most interesting games. I think now that we can see the women's section. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the Nona, the favourites. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Two very interesting games on the top two boards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly while I, while I was having the break, I was actually walking there and uh, I think that something is wrong with the transmission here because they played a couple of moves. Yeah, they have uh, played a lot. They more. have played a lot of moves because uh, I think that uh, Nana, if you see the camera, they has a queen on g7. Yeah, yeah. She took the mm, she took the rook, and I think that the position is soon uh, yes, over. Yes. Okay. So it does not look good for uh, Stefano. So okay, let's so let's go to the second yeah, game. See if that's up to second date second because game, yeah. it was remarkably yeah, this, uh, uh, parallel. The yeah. Kardinashvili against the young Russian Goriachina. Aha. Uh -huh, yeah. This is on a server board. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, okay. So they start it started getting interesting with uh, G4. Yeah, this is actually the, the normal uh, line now. I mean, very popular. Yeah. I think that Kramnik was also playing it a couple of times with white pieces. Yeah, yeah I, I believe you're not allowed to play this line without G4 yeah, nowadays. Yeah, this, uh, the Rook G1, yeah. This is, uh, That's right, yeah. White <laughs> is avoiding D4. I mean, it's but, uh, but the way I saw it, it wasn't until Stefan, uh, Stefanova had played G4 that uh, Kotonish really thought, okay, Rook G1, and uh, yeah, 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 so she was waiting, safer, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> waiting and thinking, okay, it looks okay for Stefanova, so we try it. Uh, and, uh, okay, I mean, Rook G1 and G4, it's just, from a player of my generation, it, it feels like it's very extravagant, but ever since Aronian started doing it and uh, getting away with it in boring Queen's Gambit positions, uh, yeah, suddenly yeah, it's, uh, it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, everywhere, yeah, exactly. I, I, uh, I am not a big fan of this move, somehow, Bishop A3 in this position, because... S so what do you suggest? I thought that somehow, first of all, I'm not really a big fan of Queen E7, but okay, now uh, I think that Black should do something immediately in center, somehow, But, or but if you play E5 immediately, we take on D5... And, and Knight B5, yeah. And Knight B5, and then it's a bit embarrassing. It's a, like one of these B3 lines, or B6 lines. Yeah, you but don't with have the a good one, yeah? Uh, sure, yeah. but if bishop b8, bishop a3, so it's very hard to keep this bishop under good circumstances. Yeah, yeah. this is why I thought maybe that uh, black actually gives the... Oh, if you want to. Okay. Yeah, to be, to be really like uh, trying to play on a uh, development. Knight d6, queen d6, okay. I, I thought that maybe this is uh, better because rook is on g1 somehow. Now white right. has to go to long castle, I guess, or just stay with the king in the center, so... Uh, yeah, I think I'll stay with the king in the center. So let's take on, on d6, d6 and, and queen d6. Uh, yeah, and play d4. Yeah, this is the, exactly, this is the position so now. So, e4, and we have no choice. We, 92 is not possible anymore, because h2 is hanging. Yeah, <laughs> so that's we right, have to so play 95, 95 yeah. And, and now some move, like we should be seven. Seven, and this is strange. Mm, yeah. Okay, we can always play queen d2, that's not a problem, but what to do next for white? Yeah, this is, is the... Is there some f4 move here? Yeah, f4, yeah, this would be to like... take with the pawn. Yeah, after e if you want to play gf, yeah, this yeah. is the... Okay, I guess that here black should play something like uh, yeah, maybe rook f c8, this one. Queen d2. Queen d2. And now, okay, it's uh, maybe yeah. one of the possible ideas even to play a5, bishop a6. You can, absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess white's thinking about g4, g5. And so if you go bishop a6, we just take back with the queen at some moment and hope for the best. But yeah, it's, it, we have to be careful because at some moment black can double on the c file. And if, yeah. we, if we don't have a bishop d1 or something to stop it, then we can be in big trouble on the C-file. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, for sure it's an yeah. interesting position, uh, but uh, of course, uh, mm. Goryachkina played bishop a3. Yeah. Okay, somehow this looks like uh, queen a3, g4, as you were saying in the line before, king will stay in center, but this g4, yeah. g5 is now somehow yeah. dangerous, I mean. Uh, and yeah, normally when g5 happens, in these positions when white has uh, pawn on e3, you don't want to go to h5. So you re and most of the time you don't even want to go to e8. You want to go to d7, but it's not really possible around here. If you had a good square for that knight on d7, I would move it and play knight d7 later. But I yeah. knight c5 looks very strange here. Y yeah, so yeah. To knight play knight e4 later, but I don't really believe it. So yeah, g5, knight e4. Because maybe yeah, g5 and knight e4. Okay, but then for now. Uh, maybe we have the problem because, okay, I, at first I was <laughs> somehow knight thinking B1. that knight b1 <laughs> and trying to play d3, but maybe it's not possible because it's hanging on b3, yeah? It's uh, a little bit problem. I cannot yeah. play a3 here yeah. and uh, you have enough time. I mean, I'm just pinned, but uh, some strange move like king f1 can run into <laughs> e5 maybe, yeah? Yeah, could and be. And bishop could h3 be. check. I mean, this is uh, not uh, so easy. Yeah. So maybe knight c5, but okay. It's, uh, 
Yeah, I, I also don't like it, but somehow... <laughs> yeah, but maybe you have to do something like this, because if you go backwards with like 98, it's, it's a bit unpleasant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, most of the time. So, uh, for example, A5, it, it just feels a bit slow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Goriachina um, didn't, didn't spend so long on this move, but... Uh, okay, G5, 98 is sort of forced. Yeah, and now H4, of course, this is... Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, just uh, like this. Especially if A4 is not a problem. And I think here Goriachina missed some small tactic because after a4 knight takes a4, dc4, I, I'm sure she sort of mentally thought that she was getting back the pawn and up to yeah, queen takes c4. She, she blundered there's it. no b5 anymore because queen c6. And yeah, uh, yeah, this is exactly as, uh, as you say b5, queen c6. Six, and rook a6 and queen b5, and suddenly you've lost all your pawns and you're not winning anything. Yeah, this is so true. And, but knight yeah. d6 also, I mean, it looks okay. like, okay, it's. Okay, th well, this is definitely not the position they had because um, uh, the queen had already gone back to c1, uh, as I recall. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, we can see actually. I think that maybe she yeah, played. Yeah, but no? it, it went back to c1 uh, ha more than half an hour ago. Oh, so the transmission really? is. Uh, yeah, now it's low. Oh, and now, okay, yeah, this is rook c1. This is just clear pawn up, yeah? It, it is, and, and a nice position also. Yeah, I mean, with pawn on a7 would be <laughs> also better for white <laughs> because d4 and you are well, keeping all the position, yeah. Board, uh, board one repeating. Yeah, let's yeah, have yeah, a look. Let's see. Uh, it's like Nitsa. Okay, we, we stopped here somehow after. Ah, we still don't have. A we still don't have moves, unfortunately. Yeah, um, because C three is the last one. It looks super exciting, but um, only on the TV screen, not on yeah, our yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is there any way of working Actually out what happened? Yeah. So, till till where do you have? We have move thirteen. 13 no, yeah. C three. Uh, yeah, but we need a couple of moves, yeah, because after C3, three, it happened yeah, uh, E5, need, actually. I, we just I need the next 10 moves, yeah. Okay, so uh, C3, E5. D, knight E5, knight E5, queen E5, e rook G7, long castle, this is what I saw. Okay. Yeah, queen, queen A4, four. knight E4, this is what I saw. Knight E4 taking. Okay. Yeah. No, bishop E4 is taking. E4. Queen G7, yeah. this is what happened in the uh, game, exactly. And now check. check. And King E2, E2, Queen G4. Right. And if I saw well already somehow... F F3. F3, Queen, Queen D2. D2, King D3, Bishop F4. E4 is the position that we have. Yeah, it's now on the board. Maybe they played uh, two times Queen G1, Queen G4. But, uh, uh, possibly, okay, yeah. We'll okay. see when it, yeah. So, uh, you, you know, can take with... Obviously, 94, yeah. It's yeah, although pawn takes... E4 is, is also, possible, yeah, yeah, it's Very possible. Yeah, this is uh, also possible, more for sure. Okay, so I, if black is trying to run away, then we can try... No, but now D5, yeah? Yeah. This is a very strong move. And uh, because uh, yeah, obviously the check D5. is uh, not so good because of this pin. Yeah. Yep. This is this would be the end, of course. But uh, indeed, so we have to take an e4 with the knight. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. Uh, obvious, but uh, still. But she's thinking, which is strange, um, unless she's planning some no king c4. I don't because know when I was downstairs, uh, actually Antoinette was not looking so good after uh -huh. uh, she blundered this. Uh, uh, right. Actually, the position was with knight e4. And then uh, mm -hmm. I was uh, checking the position and somehow right. I think she maybe was uh, just she didn't uh, she didn't thought that this uh, will be very strong for black because uh, in this position it's uh, anyway okay 94 of course as you mm -hmm. said but uh, okay now d5 knight f6 maybe but queen g6 I have so mm. it's uh, also so question d5. after d5 how to how, how to react yeah, okay we have a knight d6 check no, it's not a perpetual. Yeah, it's not. It's after knight d6. Yeah. CD I take, and I yeah, guess that uh, yeah, yeah, I will run away. And also queen g6 check, and is it's actually very, very important resource <laughs> for black, yeah? Yes. Otherwise, yes. it would be queen a8 mate. I mean, very, yes. it's not so easy, so. Well, is this completely winning then for what? It, it seems like it's completely winning. Um, let's see, you have, a, you have two checks, but you can't take on d5 ever. Um, yeah, I, I don't see really good options. You can run to e7, f7, that doesn't help. It um, seems one, like, couple of checks and uh, over. Yeah, white has to try to use the rook, but I don't see it. I mean, white could play knight d2 and just play, but yeah, but it's this hard is to believe. E exactly, actually, he queen g6 and the king e2, and now this would be... Yeah. Or maybe hey, just queen rook g8, yeah. She or took with pawn. Uh -huh. She took okay. with the pawn, so yeah, yeah, with pawn and the... Uh, okay, so d5 uh, will happen. Yeah, this is for sure. I mean, Nana will okay. see it, of course. And now the question, I guess, is e5, perhaps? No, then check and queen c6, and yeah, game, game, game it's over. It's game over, yeah. Even, even I don't have, I guess, that I don't have to give the check, because I can play rook f8 and mate. Uh, 
if you, if you want to make, but I want to stop yeah, yeah, the checks. Yeah, 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 you want to stop the checks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah D5 <laughs> happened actually in the game, yeah. Yes, so and this is why Stefanova wasn't uh, too happy, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe so. she overlooked knight f6, queen g6. I mean, it's possible. It's a little, little detail that's easy to miss. Yeah, and I think that after knight e4, actually, she didn't have any choice to... No, no, probably not. Yeah. Y even this position without queen a4, I mean, somehow... Like because rook g8 is coming and... And, and also, yeah. at least queen h2, I will take back the pawn if I'm, <laughs> yeah. like, material or yeah. oriented. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but uh, queen a4, knight 4 in this position, I mean, it's, uh, it seems like the end. I mean, like, mm. uh, yep. first point for uh, Nona. And, and it's yeah. true, I mean, this queen a7 is a one-piece attack, so <laughs> it should be some way to get out of it. Yeah, it's just... Uh, yeah, if, yeah. if you're very lucky, it's a perpetual, but most of the time not. So that's a, a big win for Nona, isn't it? Because uh, yeah, it this so. is one of the critical matches for them if they want to keep I, that, I think keep that, that this title. Is, yeah, I think that this is, a ma this is actually a match for the title because they, yesterday they won match against Legacy Square, so one big rival is uh, down. Yeah, I mean, Ushanina's team, is uh, Ugra, is, is a serious team. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Ilshanina and Poganina are capable of beating uh, any, any top yeah, yeah, players, yeah, yeah, so yeah, of course. They, they can be a problem. But, yeah, once you, the real problem for uh, the rivals of, uh, of no Nona is because they've played two strong rivals already, I even if you beat them now, you, have to, uh, yeah, you, you have, have to beat, beat everybody else as well, and uh, that's yeah. not so easy. And, of course, yeah, beating Legacy Square is, is a problem. So yeah. Nona is, is actually only the... Top seed by 15 average rating points. So Gunina and uh, the Russian team uh, with Gunina, Kostanyuk, Giria and uh, uh, Kozinskaya is, is a very yeah, decent yeah. team. Yeah, they yesterday uh, they lost to, to Nona. This was an, a, it was very yeah. even match, but... Uh, yeah, but I mean, we, what you saw last year in the European Club Cup with Nona was just fantastic team spirit. It's the sort of thing you see with the Armenian team at the Olympics as well that uh, they're really not playing as individuals uh, and they're uh, united actually and they're really yeah, concerned yeah, yeah. about everybody else's results and uh, I think this this really helped them last year against a much stronger rivals you know Monaco should have won this championship and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and Georgia won it with a one round to spare so it was very very convincing um, and it looks like the team is almost the same team. It looks like they're I, I united. And if they win, yeah, well, winning on board one is a huge bonus, isn't it? I have um, one idea only maybe to save here white is actually rook d1 to play. And, and, uh, and just play chess. Yeah, and after d4 kings, it <laughs> maybe this king no. is not so easy to go out, yeah? Yeah, yeah, don't, don't take on e4. Yes. You don't need to. So maybe um, there are some chances for, uh, I mean, Antonetta is uh, very good in some uh, tactical threats. Yeah, but so start on. with queen g6. Yeah. You can do it anyway. Yeah, okay, the, now at least, I mean, I will save myself from the losing the game immediately. Okay, you will play yeah. queen c6, I yes, guess. Yes, and moment. that's right. And, and unless your knight can come into the attack, it's, it's really nothing. It doesn't look... Uh, because you don't have, you have, what, one pawn or... Oh, yeah. No, two. I have some pawns. You have two pawns. Okay. Yeah, so because I can give maybe one check. I mean, a queen a8, king d7, queen a4 to uh, yeah, and maybe a little bit to make something... Uh, okay. okay, king, okay, queen in C6, order to play, yeah. Ah, Queen C6, yeah, I forgot yeah. for this. Yeah. But okay, then you maybe can try to play this end game. Take on D5 and just King C2, but it should be better for black because yeah, white pawns are so weak. Yeah, H-pawn, it's hard to believe in any normal knight against rook ending the, yeah, that yeah. you can hold this. So yeah, yeah, maybe this Queen D4, but then King C8 and it's over. No. Yeah, yeah, I thought maybe that uh, then, then maybe not just check, maybe... Maybe in this position after uh, we were saying uh, rook d1, you said queen d6. Maybe still king c2, queen c6, and yeah. just to play ed5. But of course, black is just better. I mean yeah. It's, uh, the, the thing for black is that uh, there's very few end games that white can play that you can actually yeah. hold. You, you have to keep it in a middle game. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I, thi I think it's yeah. really not going so well. Let's have a look at board three okay. and four just to see. This, as we say, is a critical yeah, yeah. match. So, this is already. Uh, Bella, oh, something is happening, but okay, this does Trick. not look still oh. <coughs> nothing, nothing really okay. good for black. I mean, I guess knight b5 is a uh, uh, tempo move, yeah? Yeah, Very yeah, tough. Sure. Uh, okay, still extra point, so that's board two. But also this c5 is just uh, very uh, weak, yeah. This looks yeah. like winning position, I mean, and yeah. uh, on board two we have a... Uh, that was board two. Uh, we yeah, have yeah, Shen Yang, yeah, a Chinese yeah. uh, player. Uh, yeah. Always been in the sort of shadow of uh, a number of other ah. players, but she's a very serious player. Okay, against uh, Javak 
Yeah, yeah. Surely. Yeah. This one, okay, why does playing with the bishops, but it's hard to believe this is much. Uh, it's c4 pawn is also weak. So I mean, what opening was this? This was some... This was Nimzo, Nimzo yeah, and Nimzo with the uh, e3, actually. I mean, uh, uh, maybe the most popular line, line yeah. today because... Uh, because I nobody has found anything else against the Nimzo. Yeah, yeah, this, this <laughs> is the, the problem reason. because, okay, for... Uh, Kramnik was playing in his yet Queen C2 really regularly yeah. when he was going with uh, D4 C4 because Knight T3 was his first move, mm. of course. But uh, so it's the old Karpov line with B6 and Queen B3 or is actually line. Queen B3. Yeah, this uh, is it should not be tricky, critical here. No, but it's uh, th the sort of tricky stuff that Kramnik used against uh, Kasparov in their World Championship match in 2000. And uh, at s at some moment you have Bishop takes E6 and everything yeah, yeah. works. So. Uh, yeah, you have to be a little bit careful against Queen B3. Sure, Queen E2 is, is yeah, mainline yeah. 95, or Bishop one G5. Where they're playing, yeah, yeah. Also um, Bishop G5, yeah. Uh, but okay, Queen B3 is just one of those lines. Take, take. And bishop E7, mm -hmm. yeah, this was everything normal, and now and Bishop E2 back. Yeah. So here, the, when you've played Bishop E2, you see, if you play 95, for a start, there will be some 97. 96, some yeah, or uh, maybe yeah, 96, uh, can I play? Okay, yeah, here 96 you can play because... Because 95 is yeah. actually... Some Normally you have this position with the bishop on g5, and even there when they take on f6 and play 97, it's still good compensation. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I so uh, 96 forces the swap. Yeah, one of the themes with black is also to play queen c8 and bishop a6, uh, yeah, and get rid yeah. of those bishops as well. Yeah, this uh, is another really yeah, difficult Yeah, and plan. Uh, that's probably why bishop e2 is useful, because if, if you ever play a bishop a6 plan, we can always play c4. But knight d7, of course, and uh, and really, uh, yeah, well, it goes back okay, a long bishop way. Uh, also, bishop yeah. e2 is really normal. You want to play bishop b2, c4, this hanging pawn, trying to push maybe uh, d5. And or then you've got nothing. Of you course. See, <laughs> when you see, when you play bishop b2, uh, b2, you find suddenly knight h5, knight f4. So you really can't put the bishop on b2 too early. Yeah, yeah, uh, you, you have to be careful. You really need c4, a4, a5 to make a new weakness and maybe rook b1 at some moment. And, and even if you get it, it's very it's small. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't believe it. I mean, generally, I like to play this kind of position with black pieces because... Uh, it's very it's flexible. Really, yeah, yeah, it's flexible and also healthy and yeah. always there is some weaknesses. You, uh, yeah, you well, I mean, uh, yeah, the, the classic game in this line is a game between Portish and Karpov, where Karpov at some moment just played e5. And mm -hmm. and the pawns d were just the hanging pawns were destroyed and yeah, uh, yeah. all all the squares came for black, but okay. So rook c8, rook d1, yeah, yeah okay. normal chess, but really there's not much happening. Yeah, bishop, bishop a6. a6, okay. Knight d2. Know. This looks uh, not so good, but uh, I think that uh, after e5, bishop b2. This this is just a equal position. Yes, uh, and and white has to be careful. You have to play a5 uh, sometime because otherwise you can be worse in some of these endings. Uh, and you also yeah. have to be careful. I mean, the bishop on e2 has to, excuse me, stay there because sometimes knight g4 will be good too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, knight e5, knight g4 and stuff. Also, I don't think that uh, generally white should be in danger, of course, as you said, a5. No. But uh, just this uh, weakness on c4 is compensated with two bishops. And, yeah. uh, and position is somehow reduced. I mean, there is mm. not so much to play on. I yeah. think for both sides, it's not so yeah. much to play on. Well, my guess is Chen Yang has to play because the match is not going very well. So she has to try to make something of this position. Yeah, but the so last position is not uh, is not promising <laughs> so much. Yeah, yeah still. I it's mean, not because uh, okay, now sh I guess that also uh, Leila knew what is happening in the ne in the other yeah. games. So she was playing really solid. Solid, and now the last position is uh, again okay, for me. Yeah, and in fact, it's it's black that will have some tricks with Bishop takes F three at some moment if you play Rook A yeah. seven, and so you have to be really a bit careful. Yes. Uh, so, okay, uh, uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, yeah, maybe we can see a little bit oh. uh, the game of uh, Kostinuk, actually. Yeah, Seems well, that that's the um, board three match, yeah? yeah? Uh, no, this is the... Sorry, yeah, I mean yeah, match three. Yeah, yeah, it's match yeah. three uh, and on second board, yeah. Yep. So, okay, oh, let's this go because this looks really, go really interesting. Start, yeah, okay. from the beginning, this so is... So, we uh, have a Spanish. Yeah. And we have an old-fashioned... Uh, yeah, actually, mm -hmm. bishop c5 before b5. I mean, this is like yeah. uh, uh, because after b5, bishop b3, okay. bishop c5. This would be a normal archangel. Yeah. So now this gives. Uh, and I'm actually, it went to a normal archangel. Yeah, because, because I'm thinking here. Okay, Spassky used to play the classical with bishop c5 and knight f6, uh, without a6. And I'm th I'm wondering if it's a significant difference. You know, any knight takes with e5 knight five, yeah. e5 tricks, but it doesn't seem to be very different. Although in some of those lines there was a c6 idea instead of a, a6, we're knocking the bishop back. Mm -hmm. So, 
So yeah, I, I would I would play ninety five here to try to to kill this system if it's killable. Yeah. I don't know if it okay. is. Okay, I think that uh, okay, black plays ninety five for example d four. I think that even uh, maybe this is interesting yeah, intermediate yeah, because I, I guess that this is a uh, uh -huh, but the queen d five maybe you have at the end yeah. Yeah, I, I do have that idea. I don't know if it works. Because after e f six, queen f okay, queen, queen d five. Queen d five, queen c six is forced and. Okay, but this is better end game, yeah. Uh, probably yes. But so I, I like bishops, but not that much. Yeah, because uh, after d four, I, I wanted to just to after b five to yeah. to transpose to and the normal line normal bishop b three, yeah. yeah. And then you find. So, but after ninety five, ninety five d four, okay, like should have some uh, extra options, I guess. I mean, uh, okay, maybe in this uh, in this position, maybe bishop d four is not possible. Well, it's not as good as the main because line because you don't have d6. Yeah, yeah, you don't have d6. I yeah. guess that. Uh, so probably you're right about b5. No, I think this is uh, 94 is oh. the main move if I remember a okay, long time so ago. Maybe there was some game uh, Topalov Kamsky d c5 knight c5. Okay, like so this. we take on e5 here uh, and try to play queen d5. Uh, okay, but do I have some just knight f2? Yeah, this y is maybe you have yeah or queen, queen, oh, queen h4. Oh, I was uh, going to This would be like uh, yeah or bishop uh, f2. Okay. I don't know okay, which uh, so what is better, but I guess that here. Well, uh, I don't think you can play bishop f2 because if you take on f2. Ah, knight f2. Yeah, you can. You have queen d4, for example. Uh, that was the plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would be this would be the mistake, I guess, yeah. because after queen d4, the problems are with knight. Yeah. Yeah. Cannot defend it, but uh, of course I had to take knight f2. But oh no, hang on. Well, there's still queen g5 there, even there, after oh. knight queen d4. No, no, no. But it's queen. I'm oh, oh, sorry. There's a bishop. Uh, bishop still. is on c1. So oh, I wanted to go queen c1. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You wanted to take on c1. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then maybe not. Okay. Yeah. So you can't do it that way. You have to. But do it with uh, the knight. yeah, I can take with the knight. And okay. Okay. Now if some queen, queen d5 or, or queen f3. Yeah. One or the other. Queen probably d5. Yeah, because after queen f3, at least I have queen h4 and some check perpetual. Yeah. If I just uh, because this guy is hanging, I mean the uh, bishop on a4 is hanging, and okay, yeah, knight okay. g4 is a threat. This yeah, is okay. a big, uh, big yep. problem. But so uh, it has to be queen d5. Uh, yeah, but now after queen d5, at least some checks. Yep, black ones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, just uh, I don't think it's dangerous for black. No, you know, yeah, yeah, check again. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I guess that after knight e4, some theory yeah. is like d c5 taking yeah. maybe yeah. and knight c5 and. And some I think black is supposed to be equal. Yeah. Okay. Queen d4, maybe something like this is interesting. But okay, of course, uh, mm. uh, Pogonina probably just uh, wanted to, to go line. yeah to the main yeah. line and. Uh, this is actually yeah. just very normal move. So okay, usually yeah. they are playing a4. You know, she could have come back to c2 immediately in this. Of course, yeah. Line. This is another line. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is so this is maybe the extra option they don't normally like. Yeah, to yeah. Allow. This is the theory. I think bishop yeah. c2 d5 something yeah. like this. Yeah. Ed queen d5. This is some theory. Yeah. yeah. I think, uh, in uh, maybe 90s uh, they were also playing it. Like I remember one game of uh, Anand Adams or Adam Sanand. I'm not so sure. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think Adams was white. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. something. Uh, but 1994, 1995. I think it was uh, even then. Yeah, man. No, yeah. Not not something That's closer a long time to ago, the yeah. yeah yeah closer to the okay, computer so era. So we're so we're back into normal stuff. Yeah. Bishop e three. They remember, you can't take on e four yeah. because of bishop d five. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, famous. Yeah. Yep. Still. Yeah. S still works. Okay, so uh, bishop g four, knight d two, castle. Yep. This is all H3 normal moves, I think. And it's bishop h five. Yeah. And okay, now it's critical moment. D five. Mm. I mean, this is. Uh, yeah, one of the other. Well, the older li line was always d five. Yeah. yeah d five and taking uh, even I think first rookie one. Because after d5, mm -hmm. I can take bishop e3. Yeah, so, so I think rook e1, one. and now after rook e8, d5. Yeah. This was exactly maybe Kasparov played uh, something similar against short, I think. But bishop was somehow on c8, b7. That's right. This yeah. is a little bit different line, yeah. if I remember, with the pawn yeah. on a4, actually. So. Uh, okay, okay, so take e5. Take, so take b6, and then it's a question about this uh, weak pawn on d6. Is it weak at all? So yeah, that's true. Suddenly g4. Yeah, this is uh, brave. Scary, yeah. <laughs> but okay, if you play something like queen e2, planning queen e3, just then rook e8, rook e8, e8, and suddenly you have a little bit of a problem on e4, so. Even I on rook e1 is the same plan, I guess. Yeah, so I, I, okay, maybe g4 is necessary sometime. Yeah, yeah, g4, bishop g6. So queen e2, rook, knight ed7, Seven. that's a strange move. Okay, uh, I guess uh, she wanted to make the pressure on e4 because now rook e8, yeah. knight c5 is actually. Almost uh, winning if you let me to do this. Yeah, I mean, but it I looks won't. very bad. Yeah. But g5, okay. and now she didn't put it on, on h5. h5. No, I, I was also expecting this because move. I mean, it's queen e3, I guess, and maybe there's no way to increase the pressure. Okay, but maybe some more like king g8 would be. Uh, 
possible with f6. Mm -hmm. This looks... Uh, I'm also thinking queen c7 with d5. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. And rook a8, actually, preparation. Yeah, yeah. So and then very unpleasant, yeah. yeah. Could very, yeah, very, could str be very yeah. strange. Very strange decision, I mean, uh, because somehow yeah. very natural move is uh, mm. maybe, yeah. maybe here after g5, knight, uh, sorry, knight h5. Maybe I thought that somehow to move the knight, but it's hanging on a... G5, yeah. yeah, yeah you maybe I don't have enough time, because uh, if I would play knight h4, f4, maybe uh, it's, yeah. it's queen e3, I mean, yeah, okay, after queen c7, maybe I could play, but uh, also, let's say, out yeah. here, like this, Actually, in that it's, uh, You can try, but... It doesn't look uh, optimistic, I mean, yeah. healthy for white, but... Uh, yeah, you maybe you can. Otherwise, it's not so. <laughs> but also, after king h8, this question. Yeah. Uh, f just f6 after knight h4, yeah. even f6. But mm. uh, okay, knight 8 was a little bit, and, and she was actually spending a lot of time, like 18 yeah, minutes. Eight minutes. So uh, yeah, there must be some reason why she went for this. Okay, so yeah. white should be better here. Queen e3. Yeah, maybe yeah, queen e3, knight c7, but still so problems with d4, knight h4, okay, d5. Okay. Oh, okay. That's uh, this was very very forced line. I, uh, it seems that, but also. Obviously, that on d5, I mean. Uh, then knight c5 is. Yeah, e d knight c5 looks okay. Uh, yeah. For black, I mean, now it's everything fine. I will take on yeah. d5. And the weak, between, weak yeah. king, of course. Yeah. yeah. So e5. Knight c5. Yeah, actually, I don't mind the way Kostinyuk is playing this. d4? No, okay. Tactical, really. It's hanging on g5, so cd. Yeah. Knight d5 tempo, queen g3, okay, because it's white has to protect the pawn on g5. And knight b I'll be four first. It's tempo, game. Another Everything one. is okay. hanging. Yep. So <laughs> the only move, and okay, now this looks extremely good for black. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I wondered on move uh, 23, why not 96, but maybe what you did is simply better. Yeah, 96, mm. but 96, 93, three. maybe I can. Uh, maybe I can defend this position and because bishop is coming. Not before. N bishop before. And, and now, just in time, um, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, but okay. 94, really tactical yeah. move, I mean. Yeah. Like, uh, it seems okay. that uh, white cannot do anything better than dc5 because queen d4 yeah. is the threat. Yep. So okay. dc, knight c2, rook mm. d1, and knight d4, and now it's hanging on e2 and pawn. It okay, looks so uh, you must play rook fe1, I guess. And bc this. Even knight f5, I can get the tempo, but I guess that yeah, bc take, is take just. Take. Uh, okay, yeah. this is better, but I'm not sure it's so fantastic. But you don't have knight e4 because knight e2 check. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, knight e4 yeah. would be nice. Yeah, this <coughs> is the, the mm. trick, yeah. And okay, maybe it's uh, time to come back to the open section a little bit to see, or or uh, well maybe uh, have one something. More, one more game in this match, maybe. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, or, or maybe legacy match. Board board one in the legacy match. Um, okay. Oh uh, yeah, the same match. Sorry. Okay, we can just uh, yeah. check it brief, mm, just for. Ushinina, what is going on there? Okay, it looked like it was a very boring game this one, but suddenly something has happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it se seems here, yeah, like... So, uh, let's go back a couple more moves. So, okay. we, we had a normal Benoni-style position where black... Yeah, with the, yeah, with the reverse call. Yeah, yeah, and where white gets the easy b4, and black is doing nothing. So, you would think this should be nice for white. Uh, uh, on the other side, I mean... Uh, Bishop on b2 is horrible. Yeah, <laughs> this is what <laughs> <the> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 I was also watching. Okay, and personally, I would play move like knight h4, I mean, here, trying to play knight e4 and taking with the... Bishop mm -hmm. on uh, e4, I mean, uh, because mm -hmm. I don't know how else to activate. Uh, of course, I need to change some one piece at least. Yeah. Because I, somehow I don't have so much space. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I, was, I was wondering if maybe White's thinking about c5 in order, if b5, a4, four or something, and play like this. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, otherwise, why do you put the rook on c1? Yeah, very often you want your bishop back on c1 and coming to life, so... Rook on c1 is a very strange square mm. unless you want to catch c5. And, and somehow this rook e2, it was, in my opinion, a dubious move because somehow also it was played very fast for one minute. <laughs> and you are not threatening still anything. <laughs> if you put your rook on e1, it's still nothing. I mean, yeah. it gives too much time for uh, like to do it, something. And a5 was a good move, actually, mm -hmm. because okay. obviously that b5 would be the yeah. yep, problem. So. Yeah, knight b8 and knight d7 coming to c5. I mean. So you have to play c5 after Yeah, and b5. c5 and now ab4. Yep. And it seems that, uh, okay, and CB. Uh, I think she missed the tactic, actually, this knight a5. Beautiful move. Yeah. So. Because otherwise the problem is, I guess, a queen c7. There is this pin, yeah, knight c5. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look really good. And if I mean queen a7? 
And if queen a7, I guess, again, I can just take queen e5. Oh, yeah, you have too many pieces. Okay. I mean, uh, yep. or first a, b4. So knight a5 was the key key point. Yeah, and okay, so take, take. It's still but not But no, I don't... Oh, not, uh, I think more it tactics. was blundered, actually. I think she blundered uh, after... Ah. Okay, she should take probably rook e5 and bishop b7. Ah, rook b8 even. Yes. Even this is not working because uh, obviously that after rook b8, it seems over, yeah? A piece is falling. So Amazing, yep. So all the tactics just fail. Seems after the 95 was a big blunder because at least uh, she yeah. forgot for this one. Yep, exactly. Because uh, I don't see that, uh, yeah, that this is just lost. I mean. It's just a piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah just piece is soon, soon. So Ushanina wins, former Women's World Champion. Yeah, and, Gu uh, and Gunina lost two games. If, the, if she lost this game, then it's second game in a row with white pieces to lose. Yeah, she's, uh, uh, not she's so a good, good player, but not, not playing so well here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, uh, this looks like... Well, I mean, this is a one-move blunder, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, well, obviously, she overlooked knight a5, and then she was destabilized and yeah. made, it, made everything worth it. Instead of being a pawn down with real drawing chances, she's suddenly just suicided and... Uh, yeah, yeah, and... Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's easy bad day for her. It's easy to miss rook b5, but not if you're a sharp, and uh, somehow she's missed, missed something. So mm. she's... In fact, Tushinin spent 27 minutes on queen takes b6, so I guess... She, uh, no, 27, 27 seconds. seconds. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. So, right. uh, so where would all the time go? Um, uh, knight takes a5, 18 minutes... Uh, no, no, seconds. one minute. She, she saw everything and... Uh, yeah. No, uh, they played very fast, everything until yeah, here and rook b5. Exactly, and so she blundered very quickly. She didn't yeah, stop and, and recalculate or anything. Yeah, but... Yeah. Yeah. So Okay, yeah, that one's over. Game, yeah. Okay. Let's let's see the open okay. group and maybe to see ah, this is the, the Nakamura game okay, because yeah, it he's seems playing that still again for the pad of a team. I know he already actually is, uh, okay. finished. He's finished. Let's okay. yeah, yeah, he, because he's really fast. He's he, playing too fast. Yeah. Yeah. So again, he played the. <laughs> we have one more uh, time G4. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> because they played Queen's Gambit. This is uh, okay. like really normal line. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I guess this is uh, even from the. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, sixties, seventies. Uh, well, H three was promoted by uh, Yomalinsky in his book, The Road to Chess Improvement, and mm -hmm. he, he more or less showed how it was a forced win for White, and uh, maybe <laughs> maybe uh, Nakamura read this. So, uh, I'm yeah. sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, because in the old days, uh, White used to make a decision early. He would castle kingside castle, or ca yeah. castle queenside, and the plans would be obvious. Yeah, castle kingside, he would go rook b one and play uh, b four. And yeah. castle queenside, he'd go h3, g4, but here he's waiting a little bit. I remember that uh, a few years ago, actually, Magnus played knight e4 with black pieces in this position. Y and actually, I was a little bit uh, analyzing this. I, I like that uh, move because the main idea was actually to stop, the, of course, this setup, okay. but this take, is nothing. Take, bishop takes e4. Yeah, but now... Take, knight d2. Yeah, this is some something like this is the theory. Yeah, and uh, G4, G5 is a little bit maybe. No, no, too we much. don't. We don't go G4, but we would like to play knight C4, knight E5, and uh, try to be a little bit better. But um, sometimes you can get knight against bishop, and yeah, this is typical yeah. position. But I, uh, yeah, I'm just the idea is that uh, this is what uh, Van Veli played in that game. Ah, uh, yes, yes. This is right. the famous game, and this check yes. on A5, I think something yeah. like this was in That's their game, and bishop F8, and yeah. queen F5 sometime. Yeah, and yeah. This was, I think, yeah. like this. It was the game, yeah. and then queen F5. He prepared, yes. and uh, it's always, always some compensation. Yeah. In fact, it's very difficult to play at all with uh, white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's really a nice game. I mean, uh, yeah. uh, and mm. this is why I remember that 94 is a. Uh, just and maybe a little bit more precise. I mean, yeah, but Van Welly is the right guy to play this against because he wants to prove that it's wrong. So he will take your pawn. Whereas, uh, yeah, the someone yeah, yeah. more positional would just take on e7, pawn, and take yeah, on e4, yeah, yeah. It's play something little small, him, yeah. and uh, he, wants, he wants to prove you wrong. And, uh, okay, so let, let's but keep going. But knight fate, yeah, happened. And yeah. Uh, okay. Bishop uh, f4, yeah, okay, 96. Uh, okay, but now this extra option, long castle, yeah? Yeah, um, but even even here, yeah, kingside is possible, uh, very possible, because black's pieces are not perfect for a kingside attack at the moment. You yeah. can't you can't put the queen on f6 very easily, so you're not threatening bishop takes h3, and white doesn't have to play knight d2, so you can't play knight h4. And but okay, queenside is it looks like more fun. Yeah. And uh, here, the the real decision for black is when do you play c5, 
because you know you have to play it one day. Yeah. So uh, will you yeah. play it with b6 or without b6 is also a question. I but mean, because sometimes uh, well they're playing with bishop on d7, c5. Around here yeah. you have to play it with a6. I mean, if if you allow knight b5, you're in trouble. So you, a6 followed by b f c5 is sort of, or b5 and then c5, but something like that has to happen. Or yeah. if you want, you can go b5 immediately. B5. Uh, the danger is. You can't play b4 because of knight a4, so you have to go a5, a4 first. Yeah, yeah, and then you have to choose whether you play a f uh, b4 as a pawn sacrifice or whether you play a3 next. And yeah, yeah. after uh, b5, for example, king b1, as you said. And yeah, a5, uh, yeah, yeah, a5, a4 should be because this is, as you said, is, this is the problem, yeah. of course. This, this is really common sort of attack for black with a5. And actually, white's a little bit slower than usual uh, because... Very often, uh, you, you don't go directly. Bishop on g5 on e7, I think, in this line, even you sometimes. You can, can have it, yeah. There. Okay, so rook c1, we play a4. It's, it's the, the black bishop on c8 will sit on d7, and we don't... We'll use it passively, but one day there will be c5 and... Yeah, uh, but uh, let's see what uh, Ortega played. Okay. So b6, g4. He, okay, normal this stuff. Is N but still interesting, we are always uh, checking always g4, g4 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bishop is sound okay, and uh, g5. g5, okay, yeah. obviously now Actually, this something system, went wrong. Actually, this system, the knight on g6 is the problem, because h4, h5 comes with extra time. Yeah, for example, so yeah, after yeah. knight d7, just h4 and very yeah. big problems with h4. Yeah, the knight on g6 is, is should be sitting on yeah, f8 but here. But also this sacrifice does not look good. I mean. Oh, is that what he played? Okay. Yeah, he played like this, and knight d2. Knight d2, and, and it's going to be a pawn. It looks, it looks bad, and c5, d5. d5, nice move, yeah. Yeah, the typical again. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, and this is already looking good. Uh, very depressing. Uh, yeah. D-pawn is fantastic, actually. Uh, very hard to eliminate, and it can come to D6 any time. Yeah, and actually the, the game went like, as you said, <laughs> B5, B4, Knight, A4. Yeah, I mean, it's completely but, different. But, but here it was desperation. I mean, here, yeah, maybe he's planning to go sort of C4 and... and yeah, attack, yeah, but, but it's, it seems that just work, uh, yeah. it, it, after a couple of moves, it was just yeah. pawn pawn up, I mean, yeah. and uh, even the king is uh, not so safe. Yeah. I mean, clear pawn up, and now Nakamura was just uh, yeah, showing his technique, yeah, I think. Yeah, uh, fair enough, yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah, and he did not spend so much time. It's a nice comeback after yesterday's disaster, yeah, really, because yeah, 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 yes, uh, yeah. it, it must have been pretty depressing. Uh, he's, he's back to world number two, I think, after this one. Uh, yeah. So I think he needed a few points. Yeah. So... Uh, no, it's uh, okay. Ortega was yeah. a, was a class player of, of twenty years ago, but uh, yeah, he's he's not really not anymore. Uh, with also in chess, and with he, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the finish was actually very nice with rook d five. Okay, uh, this is. Uh, yeah, but nobody threw gold coins on the board or anything. So. <laughs> yeah, still, still, I mean. Uh, yeah. Maybe it was time to resign, but okay, he played a couple of uh, mm. moves. Yeah. And it's okay. Now it was the end. Yeah. There's been some. Uh, there's been some very nice uh, little, little combinations here on some of the lower boards as well. If you get hold of the game file of this tournament, it's. Uh, yeah, yeah. It would be some even uh, some more good interesting. Some you you could make a hundred position combination book already. I think with li little tactics like yeah. this. And also, it's very interesting. Like uh, you can see that uh, uh, Howell, David Howell, yeah. started with zero out of two. Indeed, yes. I mean, and very uh, strange. I mean, because he was playing really good. I mean, he went over six hundred, uh, over uh, two thousand seven hundred. Mm. I mm. mean, not anymore. <laughs> and not anymore. Yeah, just two games, and you are. Uh, I mean, this that's is that's right. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, the, the the top players in the world are reshuffling their position almost after every game. Uh, you yeah, know, yeah. The top top ten is is changing all the time, and yeah. it just just depends how active you are. Yeah, but there's been so many upsets. I mean, yesterday was uh, incredible, really. With Giri losing, and uh, we've we've had all sorts of players. Yeah, Tregubov uh, lost, Lasnichka lost. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean and, and Tregubov lost to uh, 100, 20, 100 uh, player, I think. Yeah, uh, a little bit more, maybe Nibnil? a uh -huh. little bit less than 20, uh, 200. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, I, I'm going to have to uh, let Sandra take over again. But uh, it's been great being here. And Thank you. Uh, yep. Yeah, enjoy. Thanks.